dream of the future brought to reality by Sensation Station Network. East Port to Buckhead, Cops Bar to Bankhead, Dope is Sports Talk Show on the radio. You heard what I said. Mason, E. Glade, Highlights, and Big Plays. From the East Coast to the West Coast, from Oregon to Georgia State. Touchdowns and home runs, slam dunks and long runs. Athletes and sports junkies, if you got the knowledge, come get you some. Call in, let me hear your thoughts. Sound mad, get your team lost. Jerry Jones, cause I'm the ball. Call in, let me hear your thoughts. Cut it, Jack. After a week, I feel good saying it's Monday. Yup. It's 8 o'clock. Yup. And you're tuned in to the Dopest Sports Show on radio. I'm man, I'm fresh from Chicago, but I'm your humble co-host, D. Glaze. You only had one job to do in Chicago, everybody. <laughs> hey, but I didn't bring up for a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Hey, we're back, man. The dynamic duo, the Dopest Sports Show on radio. And with me, man, is my partner, my man, number two. Number one in your heart. Makes you heard what's happening, baby. Man, what's going on? Playoff? Man, feeling what's up, good. What's up, man? Feeling good, man. Yeah, man. Uh, good. Road, road trip will do that to you. Yeah. I was tired, though. It took a long time to get home. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, I seen you. You know, y'all was, uh, yeah, Eric has every, every cell tower y'all hit. <laughs> like, hey, they, they change the location <laughs> like a mug. Hey, man, four cities. Shout out, saw the Titan Stadiums from, you know, the highway. So, mm. y'all had to go through them hills in Nashville. Hey, man, got a little nervous, got a little nervous. Boy, y'all, y'all didn't go through with the sun up? Nah, boy. Ooh, boy, boy you yeah. yeah. got that 6% decline. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, boy, you're going to need some break pads. <laughs> night, boy, I, I start smelling rubble. Yeah, you're going to need some break pads, dog. <laughs> but we got here, man, safely having a great time, man. Hey, man, big shout out to everybody out there on Periscope. Follow your boys, man. It's your boys on the Crush Sports Talk. Check us out there, man. You can see us live. Hey, we ain't got no hats. Yeah, man. My actually, my hat in the car. Mine in my the van. I packed everything and forgot the hat. Hey, man. It be like that sometimes. Big love to everybody out there in Chicago for having me this weekend, man. It was a lovely time out there. To the family listening, loving you guys out there, man. You show much love to the crush, man. So I know we had it like that. Hey, up there, man. man. Hey, man. Let me tell you something, man. At the, at the tailgate experience yesterday, man. You know, gotta wear the crush stuff everywhere yeah, you go, man. man. You know, you yeah. see them folk looking like, hey, man, that's, that's little, that buddy from the crush yeah, right there. I heard you. Heard you had a little, man, little, little interest. Buddy from the crush right there. A little interest with the shirt. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, they got interest. it popping, man. We had it popping. I heard you had it. It's a good shot, man. Hey, man, you took a one of, man, you took a photo of one of my favorite Falcons, man. That right there. We got to get him in studio, man. Yeah, well, we working on that, man. William Andrews in the building, man. Big shout out to everybody out there. Erica, big shout out to you. Great games yesterday, man. Some shocking upsets. The, the games weren't that great, but. <laughs> you know, <sighs> stat of the day. What's that, I'm going to hit y'all with the stat of the day. What's that, man? This is the first time that oh. uh, all teams with four-plus championships lost on the same day. That's, that's, that was a, 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 a one of those, when you put those collages together. When you put like the show, Tom Brady, Peyton, Cam, yeah. and um, Russell. Not yeah. Peyton, but it was four of them at the same time. It was just like they all lost in the same They game. all lost in the same time. That didn't happen in a yeah. long time, man. That didn't happen in a long time. Big shout out to them Dirty Birds, man. Big man. win. Big shocking win. Got to get some love to the Bears. I got I got the Chicago Bears fans. They they in the building. What's up, Chicago? You know I got love for y'all. Hey, we yeah, got a quick call, man. Yeah. Hey, caller, what you crushing on? Oh, you already know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You really crushing it, <laughs> yeah, man. What's going on, Mike? Oh, not too much, no. Just trying to enjoy these holidays, that's all. Yeah, man, you got a big win yesterday, yeah, man. That, that, that should have made your day. You should have had a good Christmas. Yeah, it was an amazing win. <laughs> now, if you just play like that every game, it would be dangerous. Well, yeah, you know, you got one more week to do it. Yeah. You know, New Orleans coming to town. Now, you know that ain't no push over. Drew just well, you know, New yellow. Orleans coming to town. You know, we really we really hate the New Orleans, so we should we should rise to the occasion on that. Yeah, yeah y'all really should, man. Got a, got a chance to uh, for a winning season. Yeah. Can't take that yeah. too lightly. Yeah. Big shout out to them sorry Giants for not even giving us a shot last night. Man, good job. <laughs> man. I, I couldn't be more proud of uh I mean they ain't even fight last night. Eli man, Manning, man. He hey. missed twinkle toes yesterday, <laughs> man. Dancing machine was out, man. It, it was just a funny thing, man. Well, he was done so quick, boy. Forty nine is who put man, I'm gonna put fifty on them yesterday. Boy, I'm gonna put a fifty burger up on them. Hey Mike, thanks for your love, bro. We'll talk to you later, man, as always. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. What number can you call? Hey, man, man. Mike called the show at 678-613-5857. Hey, when we come back. We got to start letting Erica give out the number. She has slight dyslexia when she <laughs> give out. She called 5758. I don't even know, Ty, why you enjoyed Minnesota winning, but I know that was a reason why, but you're a punk. <laughs> 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 
Big shout out to Ty, man. That's family right there. Yes, sir. When we come back, man. We're going to get to a hot topic, man, that we're going to talk about. We got to talk about some things that happened this weekend. You Let's ready, man? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, man, we come back. It's the crush. You. Want to see who's in the network? Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Follow us on Instagram at Sensation Station Network. We're the nation's urban station. Radio, not dumb down. Did you know volunteering can be fun? Community service is for everyone. Young people, families, men, women. As a volunteer, you'll help your community and gain valuable skills. Network with others. Energize your life. Make an impact and have fun. Get in step with your community. Volunteer. Visit www.lionsclubs.org. Hey, parents. Finding it hard to communicate with kids in today's world of ever-changing slang? Hi, son. Excuse me? Introducing the Communicizer. Just strap non-toxic Communicizer to your mouth and go from boring old man speak... Oh, uh, you know, I'm here if you want to talk. ...to 100% off the chain. Text me whenever, yo. It's that easy. Thanks to Communicizer, I'm relevant to my kids again. I mean... A fly, boo. And now when you buy Communicizer, you get the auto-tune attachment free. Sounds so hip-hop, your kids will want to talk to you for hours. I used to have to walk three miles uphill to school every morning short day. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Communicizer is not available in stores because it doesn't exist. But that's okay. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Because kids in foster care don't need perfection. They need you. For more information on how you can adopt, go to adoptuskids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Adopt Us Kids and the Ad Council. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In biology, I learned that I'm fat. I'm stupid. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in gym, I learned that I'm pathetic and a joke. The only thing I didn't learn in school today is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. Sure. Okay, we're still here with a man, Keon Carpenter, man. So, Keon, let's talk about it, man. I just feel like when we go out as women, in particular, we are so insecure at some point. Winning is designed to avoid feelings of losing and failure. People who are emotionally weak have to be conscious and have to admit their weaknesses. So There's imagine November your to... son at 1 o'clock in the morning. Where where should he be at at 1 o'clock in the morning? He should be at home, at in least. In his bed. In his bed at 1 o'clock. Or play the game. <laughs> If you have a prayer request, by all means, you can always um, let us know from time to time. We're here every Saturday on the taste of tradition. On Sensation Station Network. Radio, Radio not done. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hey, we're back. This is Hot Topics brought to you by Pain and Wellness Center for all the injuries, workers, comp, wellness, and sports injury. Contact Winston Carhe and his wife, Shante Evans Carhe at Pain and Wellness to get help get you through it. You can reach them at 404-699-0966 or go to their website, www.pain2wellness.com. Two locations off Cascade Road in Atlanta and off of Highway 314 in Fayetteville, Georgia. Going into a hot topic, Maceo, did you not or did you hear about all this allegation going on with Peyton Manning this weekend, man? I did, dog. I did. He has allegedly been accused by an Al Jazeera reporter, uh, Deborah David, that his wife received HGH from pharmacist Charlie Sly which made uh, Peyton say, whoever this slapstick reporter, <laughs> yo, yo. whoever that is. Yo, slapstick, like a mug. So let me ask the question, man. First of all, what do you think about the report, man? Honestly, man, I, th I think the report is uh, straight BS. Okay. Man, it's Peyton Manning, man. You know, <sighs> so some people you just get the benefit of the doubt. Well, let me ask that question. If this was Cam Newton and that report came out on him, do you think it has been has been washed as under the board as it has been so quickly? Not because Cam out Cam has always been a freaking nature. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying this story kind of. I saw Dead Spin say this is a non-story. Yeah, and yeah. Dead Spin always trying to find stories. Well, well, because again, when we talk about perception, benefit of the doubt, they basically you what you're basically saying is this guy has never done anything to to just give you that speculation that you know he's a cheater. Well, my thing is this. I looked at the NFL from the beginning, man. Tom Brady, we know he's a 
whatever. Yeah. But, but his four games have been basically reduced. Mm-hmm. I looked at discount double check dance in the end zone. He never got a letter from a parent or anything. Yeah. Saying that his dances uh, hurt his child's feeling. Actually, mm-hmm. it's a national commercial now. Yeah. Then I saw this with Peyton Manning. And now it's like, oh, it's Peyton. It's all good. Yeah. I just wonder if it had been, what's the kid from Minnesota? Teddy Bridgewater. Bridgewater. If it had been, you know, Russell Wilson with Sierra and his thing, his goodies. Would this have been a little bit longer? Would have been a little bit thing. My thing is I just look at certain stories and, like, man, it was quick to be swept up under the rug real quick. Again, perception is everything. Is it perception? Yeah. Or is it skin you, color? You, you, you can say what it is. You, you, you can say it. Skin color. But, but it's perception. But the same thing because, okay, you said Cam. Yeah. Because Cam kind of had a history. Yeah. Of what happened in college. Right, right, right. Then you'd have been like, hmm, okay. But if it were, say, RG3, would have kind of really not been a story because he kind of had that clean. It's all about the clean slate. To yeah. me, it, it's just about clean slate. I just think it's amazing when you're in the history of these quarterbacks. And I even think if Matt Ryan would have had it, you know how clean he is. He, yeah. He's so skinny. He ain't got HJ yeah. nowhere. And, 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 and again, mm. that's, that's part of it. When you look at, like, a guy like paying his bill, <laughs> I mean, where, where, where would it help them? Yeah. You know, honestly. The only one thing they were saying is because of the neck problems, trying to get yeah. him strengthen his neck yeah. back. Now, no, now, don't get this wrong. They probably gave him a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, but again, it, it, this paid. If it was true, it would be easy to dig up. Yeah. It would be easy to dig up. I mean, you know. I got to get the credit for the, the little lady at the Al Jazeera. She's still fighting. She's like, my story is true. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but understand this, too. Everybody got an angle. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Every, everybody has an angle. You know, it's never been dirt kicked on Peyton Manning. Yeah, that's why I was like, not yeah. the golden boy. Yeah. Not and, Peyton. And, and, and we always know, you know, they build you up to tell you down. Oh, absolutely. It's better when you get to the end of your career. We, the end of your you know, career. when you yeah. ain't. Yeah, no doubt. So I want you to see what the NFL say on this, man. They basically say They're that, not going to say nothing. They already, there was a report. They are already starting to investigate. There's more than just a Peyton Manning story out there with HGH. There's a couple other players that are involved as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looking up their name right now, they said they're looking into these HGH investigations to see what's going on. I just thought it was interesting as far as a hot topic that Peyton, and I've never seen Peyton, he almost cursed a few times. Last, I don't tell him, no. last time I seen him curse is when he got a jaw broken in a uh, game back in the day when he was in Indianapolis. But. And, uh, again, man, when, when, when somebody's trying to assassinate your character like that, because he's, he's, he's almost been impeccable as far as, you know, just the image. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, he fighting for his name. Yeah, and that's always You know, the fact. same reason Jordan sued the fuck for using his name for them stakes. I saw a couple of clothes grocery store when I ride by that damn Jordan clothes. Yeah, man, you, may, you know, some, man, your name, as Marlo said on the wire, my name is my name, though. You know how he said it. Which, so, my thing is this. That's what Peyton said. My name is my, my, my name, name is though. My name. I've just seen it, and I'm surprised that it was swept so quickly on the rug with so many HEH allegations going in the NFL. Just looked a little interesting. We're going to see what the NFL do with it. I think it will disappear with the NFL. They're hoping that it die. But this will be a non-story about Super Bowl. Oh, it's already close to a non-story before playoffs. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Uh, Brock Osweiler, he's starting tonight, so we're going to see. They might. They were hoping that this goes away. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah, they don't probably. Want that. Or it could be Denver reason to keep Brock in. Could be, but Peyton practice this week. Yeah. And they say he had good practice. We'll see, man. We'll see. Oh, we got about one minute left. Oh, we're going into commercial break. That was our hot topic today brought to you by Payne, the Wellness Center for All the Injuries, Workers, Comp, Wellness, and Sports Injury. Contact Winston Carhe and his wife, Shante Evans Carhe, at Payne, the Wellness to help get you through it. You can reach them at 404-699-0966. Uh, go to PayneTheWellness.com. Two locations off Cascade Road in Atlanta and off of Highway 314 in Fayetteville, Georgia. Coming up next, our interview with Jane Kennedy Overness. Stay with us. Hey! You know you're listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the it's crush. The crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. Do I have a price check on aisle? Um, ma'am? Yeah. Don't look down, but there's a giant python wrapped around your leg. Oh, yeah, I know. It's probably nothing. Nothing? Shouldn't I, I don't know, like, call someone? No, 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 I don't have the time. I'm late as it is. If it keeps up, I haven't looked at it. Are you sure? 
That's a pretty big snake. No, no, I'm fine. Thank you, though. You're very sweet. You wouldn't ignore this. So why ignore the signs of a stroke? If you or someone you know suddenly experiences numbness of the face, arm, or leg, or sudden trouble speaking, seeing, or walking, don't wait to get help. Call 911 right away, because time lost is brain lost. To find out more, visit www.strokeassociation.org or call 1-888-4-STROKE. This message brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. Hello, and welcome to today's lottery drawing. Good luck. And here's today's winning numbers. First one up, it's not yours. Second one, not yours. And another number that's not yours. Okay, this is one number that's yours. It's a five, but you don't get any money for that. And the final number is not yours. Yep, so chances are you're not going to hit the lottery anytime soon. Don't get us wrong. The lottery can be fun every now and then. Just please don't rely on it for your future savings. How about this? Brew your own coffee at home instead of buying that latte every day. Brown bag it to work instead of ordering in. Ride your bike instead of buying all that gas. These changes alone can save you thousands a year. Thousands. Small changes today, big bucks tomorrow. Feed that piggy bank. Go to feedthepig.org for more free ideas on how to save. Feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. This is Amari Batman Carroll. You listen to The Crush, the only sports radio show that they're going to keep it real in the A on Sensation Station Network. And we're back. Right now, man, we are going into the crushing interview with Mrs. Jane Kennedy Overton. How are you today, Mrs. Overton? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. This is E. Glazing. Maceo, you want to say hey? I already said hey, but I got this big old Kool-Aid smile on my <laughs> face, so I'm all good. I'm going I'm to let you start. Hey, Jane. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> is Jane okay? Cause we we kind of we some nervous little guys over here. But is Jane okay for us to call? That's cool, right? We can say that, right? You can just call me Jane. Right. Ah! She said me, not you. Oh, okay. oh my bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> How were your holidays, Jane? How were they? The, the holidays? Um, it's it's doing really good. I had the opportunity. All my girls got together, so you know, when families together, everything's fine from there on in. Oh man. Oh man. Jane, this is Maceo. <laughs> Did you watch any NFL football over these holidays? As a matter of fact, yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I got to say I did. I saw the game yesterday and got to watch one of my favorite, you know, Eddie Lacy. I just, but you know what? I don't know about anywhere else in the country, but it seems like every time I turn the TV on here in L.A., the Packers are playing, you know, and I get a chance to watch Eddie Lacy, and I've just been hooked on him all season. Eddie Lacy, so he reminds me. He reminds me a lot of Jim Brown. So I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, and so like when he gets hit, he doesn't go down, and he just keeps pushing. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't care what anybody else does on the Packers. And he just does it all by himself. <laughs> but he was he was so bad for fantasy this year, though. He <laughs> killed so what? He but he killed my fantasy football team this year. Oh well, see, okay, <laughs> now you got me because I don't do fantasy football <laughs> at all. Football was never a fantasy. So I mean, my daughter does it. My my daughter who um for the family lives in Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. She's watching and she goes, "Oh my gosh, my fantasy team!" I'm going, like, "Oh wow." <laughs> Things have really changed since I was on the NFL today. So let's talk about that. Do you, talk about how did you break ground? Because you, you, you broke ground being an anchor on CBS NFL today. How did that haul come about? How did you get that, as we like to say, that gig? Because that was a big gig for a lot of people today uh, when you broke that ground. How did you get that uh, NFL Today job? Well, you know, it's really funny how life is because – when you go through life making strides and certain accomplishments, you don't really take it in. You know, mm-hmm. that it's something that is going to be um, game changing. Right. Um, you don't really anticipate when you're in the moment the importance and the relevance of what it is. To me, it was just another job. I knew 
that the opportunity was going to be something that was going to, you know, make a big difference for me in my career, because up to that point, I've been an actress, but I'm saying, wow, to be on the NFL today, that could definitely catapult my career. And it was something that I, you know, like I said, I grew up in Brown's country, where Jim Brown was playing, and my dad had five girls and one of boys. So we all were sports, you know, so... um, the opportunity, I heard they were looking for someone, um, and I asked my agent to submit me, and they said, no, they're looking for journalists. And I'm saying, but I know football, I know a lot of the players. Right. It's like a dream job. They submitted a list three times without me, and so finally I said, and they were turned down all three times. So I just found my own way. You know, I called Jim Brown, and um, he turned me on to... Um, Pat Stenner, who was one of the game producers, uh-huh. who introduced me to George Wallach, who was the manager of Bruce Jenner, who had just, you know, wanted the Catalan. And Bruce, um, George Wallach said, while well, they had a talent for CBS Sports is coming in town, I will introduce you to her. And that's how I got my audition. Oh, so you pulled a few uh, <clears throat> strings, as they say. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you, when you want something, you just go for it. Yeah. And um, it was crazy, you know, I, I knew they brought 16 girls to New York, and I walked into the interview, and there were 15 blondes with blue eyes, and I said, well, uh, he's not looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, now let me so, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just kicked back, I just kicked back, and had a good time, relaxed, and I got the job. Oh, wow. When did you realize that you were a star? Being a woman, uh, you being a woman, and you're doing sports. When did you realize that you were a star doing this? I don't think I did. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Because you know, like, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, it was a job. You know, like I was living in California, working in New York, so it was every Tuesday I'd be on another plane going to do another interview, come back to LA on Wednesday, leave Friday night on the red eye to New York do my job on Sunday, come back Sunday night to Los Angeles, work on Monday, and leave again Tuesday. So it was just work. So you're grinding. You know, I mean, back then it was only the three networks. Right. Mm -hmm. So you didn't really have options outside of that. You didn't have Facebook likes. You didn't have Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) And they would just come right out and tell you in the industry, we don't put blacks on the cover of magazines. Mm. We don't, you know, your picture's not out blasted on any billboard anywhere. You're not wrapped around the face of a bus on a shrink wrap. So, no, there was no aura of stardom. Wow. Wow. It was a job. So when you see, and we got one minute, I want real quick. When you see, um, the Pam Olivers, the Paige Steeles, and, and, the, and, the, and the, the African-American women that are doing this in the days, what did that make you feel like being one of those that was the pioneer for all of this? How did that make you feel? Well, you know, I I am just so grateful to have been a part of it. Mm-hmm. But it is hard being a pioneer. Mm. You know, you don't get paid, you don't get due, you know, yeah. and you see, uh, I see the women that are doing these jobs today, and I'm so grateful that they have had the opportunity to do this, but it's still not what it should be, there's still no parity, you know, they still need to be better paid, better positioned, right. and I, you know, I just love it when I see these women out there and they're just doing their thing, and uh, they know what they're doing, they're doing a good job. But, you know, every time I hear um, a male announcer, either play-by-play or anchor or whatever, call a commentary and they make a mistake, some have even called the wrong score with the wrong team, you know, and I say, oh, my God, they would have crucified me back exactly. in the day. You know, exactly. that, um, exactly. I'm just glad that I was able to be a part of it because it truly was a dream job for me. Can you please hold on with us? We go go to a quick commercial. We come back. We'll dive more into that, and as well as get your tech take on today's NFL as well. So, just hold on with us, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay.
want to see who's in the network? Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Follow us on Instagram at Sensation Station Network. We're the nation's urban station. Radio, not dumb down. Well, I finally did it. I opened a 401k. What? Why? Just wait for the inheritance. We've definitely got a rich uncle somewhere. We're one call away from the winner's circle at the Derby, dinners with multiple forks, a vacation home in the country, using summer as a verb. You don't actually think that, do you? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs, the Georgia Society of CPAs, and the Ad Council. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of our United States. Most people know him as a man of great wisdom and vision. What many don't realize, however, is that when it came to finding late model sedans at government auctions, or even looking up a zip code, Mr. Lincoln's wisdom was sadly lacking. In fact, the citizens of that day knew it best not to even ask. Fortunately, now there's FirstGov.gov, the official place to turn when you need information about federal, state, and local government. Whether it's how to get a student loan, renew your passport, or even apply for a small business loan. All three of which, as numerous historians have noted, were remarkably absent from Lincoln's Gettysburg address. So go to FirstGov.gov. Who knows? If Abe had it in his day, he could have checked out an auction and traded that drafty log cabin for a nice condo on Maui. FirstGov.gov, a monumental source of useful information. Sure. Okay, we're still here with a man, Keon Carpenter, man. So, Keon, let's talk about it, man. I just feel like when we go out as women, in particular, we are so insecure at some point. Winning is designed to avoid feelings of losing and failure. People who are emotionally weak have to be conscious and have to admit their weaknesses. So There's imagine no your son at 1 o'clock in the morning. Where where should he be at at 1 o'clock in the morning? He should be at home. At least. In his bed. In his bed at 1 o'clock. Or playing a game. <laughs> If you have a prayer request, by all means, you can always um, let us know from time to time. We're here every Saturday on the Taste of Tradition. On Sensation Station Network. Radio not This is Coach Greg Thompson. Tune in to the Christ on the SSNATL.com. Hey, we're back. We're back on this crush. Jane, you still with us? Yes, I'm here. How are you oh, doing? Still smiling. It makes him, my, 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 my show mate is still grinning from ear to ear, so he's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> made, you made every Sunday morning special. <laughs> he was oh, about, wow. Yes, yes. So, speaking of today's NFL, you say, so are you a Green Bay fan or are you a Cleveland fan? Where are you, you currently sit with? Well, you know what? No, I'm... I'm shouldn't even say that. No, I'm not a Green Bay fan. <laughs> I, I kind of, all my life, I, you know, gravitated to people. Okay. So it depends okay. on the roster, it depends on the personnel. I mean, you know, like Cam Newton, of course, my favorite this year. Well, and I was so devastated when we lost yesterday. I just wanted to have the perfect season. We're not too hurt, I, we're not too hurt down here in Atlanta, but we would. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, but... But I gotta give I gotta give him his love because he's amazing, and um, you know I just I love to to see the story develop, you know, right. and they definitely deserve. I mean, you know, like I was in Doug Williams' corner when he was with Tampa right. Bay when he went to the Super Bowl with the Redskins, you know, and everybody, you know, and people just saying, and I, maybe it's just that I'm the underdog. I love the underdog, but <laughs> those kinds of stories I really like. So, but I gotta give some love to my boys from USC. That's my team. Okay. And so you got Lenny Williams with the Jets, you know, and he did good yesterday. Buck Allen with the Ravens, he did good. He's yeah. doing good. Yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago, we had Marquise Lee, and now he's um, with Jacksonville. Okay. Um, but um, so now we have to watch and see what's going to happen with Seal Cravens. Well, you, you, he's have, amazing and you have to be excited Seal about Cravens. Carson. You have to be excited about Carson Palmer being, uh, being the Trojan right now. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What? I say you have to be excited about Carson Palmer and what he's doing, a true Trojan. Oh, yes, yes. So, you know, my daughter goes to USC. Oh, wow. So, you know, I've always been an SC fan living in L.A. since 1971, and we don't talk about those class town people. So. <laughs> <laughs> the team that wore blue. Yeah, the other team. Yeah, the team, team that wore blue. No, 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 we don't talk, we don't talk about blue and gold. <laughs> 
So if you had but, to... you know, my daughter, I am so blessed because I have four daughters. One of them, uh, she's like, you know, she could probably do without football. Yeah. <laughs> but the other two absolutely love football. My right. daughter, who's now a, a junior at SC, she was one of the biggest reasons she wanted to go there was because of the football team. You know, wow. she just wow. left the program. Ever since third grade, she's wanted to be a Trojan. So, um, you know, we just have a lot of fun. My, my husband um, works with the guys. He does mentoring with them um, every spring, the freshman players, mm-hmm. um, teaching them about how to deal with the media, the impact of the media, you know, how to be a man, how to wow. make that transgression. Um, Which is much So, new. you know, yeah, we're, we're invested in USC, and we love what USC's doing. Unfortunately, it's been a couple of rough years with the sanctions and all of that, but that's behind us now. Mm-hmm. Um, so we got to find somebody, you know, some way to build that hole that Leonard Williams left on the defense, and I think we'll be okay. Yeah, um, I- Cody Kessler's gone. He's leaving, but, you know, we got some amazing QBs coming up behind him, so okay. I'm thinking next year's going to be amazing. Uh, and that was going to be my question. Do you think y'all can pull out the Pac-12 next year? Cause, you know, it- yes, I, t- I think we can. Almost did this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Real if close. we can, if we can, end, if we can end up in a position where we can have one coach for a whole year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about I all that that went on just, this year? All that with you know Sarkeesian and all that. What, what was your thoughts? He on was all tripping. That? I'm sorry. What? what was all? What were you thinking about all that with Sarkeesian and all that? What was going on? That that that. Oh, you know, it was. It's and again, you know, I have to look at the personnel and how it affects them. Like. Look at Cody Kessler. He's had, like, two coaches yeah. every year he's been in mm-hmm. SC. You know, so to me, that speaks on his leadership ability. Mm-hmm. You know, not just is he a good quarterback, but, you know, how do you hold a team together when you're going through all that turmoil every single year, you know? so yeah. Every year. It's rough. Yeah. It's rough. Because you know, I've, I've coached AYSO. I've managed my daughter's club team for seven years. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, like I know what the coaching staff goes through to some degree. Right. I'm not by any means saying it's the same thing, but, you know, a lot of getting out there on the field is knowing that people have your back and knowing that the organization, that you're in sync with them. And when you've got personnel staff, you know, switching up on you every couple of months, it's, it's not easy. Very tough. Very tough. Very tough. So let me ask this. So you you, you brought up and in, in, uh, just looking at your your, your bio, you, you you know, any Emmy winner, NAACP image winner. But in 1990, around that time, you decided to shut it all down. That's to be probably your greatest job of wife and mother. How did you make that yeah. decision? How did you just say, you know what, I got so much, you know, you because your, your career is just you're, you're legendary. How did you get there to make that decision just to slow it down? Well, I had been working nonstop. The last year that I worked full-time, I was on 27 days out of the entire year. Mm-hmm. And I really wanted kids, but I never wanted to have a family that I was not there, that my kids were being raised by somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, some people can be a super mom and be a super career woman, but um, for me, the type of work that I was doing I didn't see how it was possible because, you know, I wanted to be there when they went on their first date, you know, or <laughs> discovered that they liked the boy. You know, <laughs> you know I, I, and some women can do it. I've met many, many women that can do it. But for me, and um, being, we didn't have, you know, Twitter and Facebook yeah. or FaceTime yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. So <laughs> it was really difficult. Um but I'd also um, developed endometriosis, and I've been healthy all my life. Mm-hmm. I've been putting off having children all my life, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, I get hit with a disease where after months and months of treatments for surgeries, mm-hmm. the doctor said to me, the best way to treat this is pregnancy. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, you know, I just said, okay, God, I'm listening. That means it's time for me to start my family. Wow. And so it was um, a relatively easy decision, yeah, you know. Like, um, yeah. Hey, I, can you, I, Jane, can you I just hold on with us? It. Can you hold with us one yeah. second? We got to go to a quick commercial. We apologize, but we want to finish up That's with okay. you. Can you just wait with us on the other half? And because uh, there are some questions I want to talk about. You got some new programs coming up as well, and you know, All right. my. Uh, 
co-host is smiling ear to ear, so he know he he want to make sure you get it all in as well. So, hey, we'll be right back. Stay with us. It's the crush. <laughs> You know you're listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the, it's the crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. Soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am strong. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. Sure. Okay, we're still here with a man, Keon Carpenter, man. So, Keon, let's talk about it, man. I just feel like when we go out as women, in particular, we are so insecure at some point. Winning is designed to avoid feelings of losing and failure. People who are emotionally weak have to be conscious and have to admit their weaknesses. So There's imagine November your to... son at 1 o'clock in the morning. Where where should he be at at 1 o'clock in the morning? He should be at home at least. In his bed. In his bed at 1 right. o'clock. Or playing a game. <laughs> If you have a prayer request, by all means, you can always um, let us know from time to time. We're here every Saturday on the Taste of Tradition. Sensation Station Network. Radio not This is Ford Jarvis, head football coach at Mays High School. When I listen to sports radio, I listen to SSNATL.com. And we're back. Still doing our interview. With Mr. Jane Kennedy Overton. So, Jay, you were talking before we left the break. We were talking about your decision just to become a full-time mother. Uh, you, it's funny, me and my partner, we we have girls as well, and we we you know we we already we already the, we part of the bad boys movie where we got the the guns and all that going on. How has it been raising mm-hmm. all those daughters during today's time and things of that nature? Can you just explain how that's been for you? I'm sorry, what was the question? I'm, I'm getting break up. I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. And first of all, I have to apologize. Because at, at um, I expected your call at five fifteen or five thirteen. I was just dropping my daughter off, <laughs> and I'm sitting here. I was shocker <laughs> this interview. <laughs> no, that is fine. That That's is okay. Fine. That is fine. I'm good. I'm good over here. We're happy. Yeah, we're very happy. So we, you, uh, you could have yes. been on the football field and on the fifty yard line. We'd have been fine. Yeah, we're so, good. Uh, so yeah, we're just talking about how raising daughters, man. It's been interesting for us because both of us have daughters. So how's it been for you yeah. raising daughters in this day and time? Well, you know, it's it's a job. It's very difficult because it's scary. It's a scary world. But, mm-hmm. you know, I keep telling uh, my daughters that, um, for me, the most important thing is that they become independent people because you never know what the future is going to hold for them. It's, right. you know, I hate to think what it's going to be like. 10 years from now, mm. especially 20 years from now, you know, right. um, the world's getting scarier. Um, and I still can't believe that in 2015, our country has these issues that we're facing exactly. um, across the board and right. all realms, you know. And so I try to raise strong women mm-hmm. and I try to raise them to be people that I like. It's easy to love your kids, but I want to be able to like them, <laughs> respect them. Um, and I do. You know, so to me, it was a job well done. Um, They're very respectful. They um, are committed to following the ideals, not just what you say, but in how you walk through life as a parent. They see you, and they learn from you in your actions way more than they learn from you in the words. Jay, has CBS ever thought about bringing everybody back together for, like, just a reunion? I don't. I don't know. I think it would be a great idea with Super Bowl 50. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. you, would think, you would think that they would, you know, because um, this was a part of the history. I remember watching the very first Super Bowl with my dad. Mm. I remember sitting there in front of the TV 
And that was legendary, you know. So you would think during all of these years, the yes. 50th anniversary, you shouldn't you shouldn't have it without having some type of recognition of the contribution from the um, female uh, reporters on the sidelines and the anchors right. on the desk. Right. You got to. Right. So speaking of Super Bowl 50. I would love to be there. I, at this point, I don't have any plan to be there, but <laughs> I would love to be there. So speaking of Super Bowl 50. Who's your picks to be? Who will be watching? Say again. It's, who will we be watching in Super Bowl Fifty? In your opinion, who you who? Will Cam Newton. Cam Newton. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of Carolina fans in the building right now. Everybody in the studio just got happy when you said that. <laughs> I told you I'm a loyal fan. <laughs> oh, She's a loyal fan of Cam Newton, so that's all that. Hey, that's good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. So who you like in the AFC? If you got Cam in the NFC, who you like going to show up in the AFC? Is it New England again? I or? told you I'm loyal. It's going to be Cam Newton. Yeah, no matter who's in there. It's all Cam Newton, man. It's all Cam Newton. Yeah, he, he could just walk out there, right? Yeah, I'm cool. So, Cam Newton, you've been picked, sir. Well, I just, I just like to see a good game. Yeah. I don't like to see, you know, landslide victories and stuff like that. I want some action. I want some close calls, you know, good referees, and I'm fine. <laughs> Boy, you're talking about referees. That's just been hot. The referee in this year has been crazy from what I'm seeing. What's your thoughts on that? Hey, I've had my share of arguments with referees over the years. <laughs> um, and my daughter playing soccer. My daughter is a goalkeeper. So, and with me being the manager of the team, I've had to zip my mouth shut on more than one occasion. <laughs> I understand that. Hey, before we go, we thank you so much for joining us. This has been great. If you're ever in Atlanta, please stop by our studios. But right. let's talk right. about your. You got and a couple you of things. Can, you can call me again when you can call me again when Cam the day before the Super Bowl when Cam is there. So no book. It's you, already you, you book. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I, I, you. I got you covered now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, before we go, the, uh, we we saw that a couple of things that you're involved with is a mother daughter thing, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And also the Resurrection yes. Lives Foundation. You want to talk about those before we leave? Well, I'm okay, um, but you know, if I my battery is almost dead, okay, so, so. <laughs> um, if I disappear on you, I'll, I apologize right now. But yeah, <laughs> okay. you can find me on Jane Kennedy Overton on Facebook, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a link to Resurrecting Lives Foundation, which is a nonprofit that I work with to um, help. We do research and um, generate programs to help our veterans coming back from Iraq, wow. Afghanistan, um, diagnosed with PTSD, post traumatic mm -hmm. brain post-traumatic brain disorders mm -hmm. and, um, I'm sorry, traumatic brain injuries and post-traumatic stress disorders. Right. And um, I'm just very committed. I have been ever since I started working with Bob Hope uh, mm -hmm. in the Vietnam War, and I worked with the USO throughout the years, and so I'm really honored to be on the Board of Advisors of Resurrecting Lives Foundation. And my oldest daughter and I have started, it's a mother daughter thing, where I believe family first, and right. so we have a lot of family issues that need to be dealt with in, mm. in our society. My daughter's master's degree is in media studies, mm. and a lot of it is on um, the impact of the media, on the decisions that we make, right. um, on the, the impression that we make on communities, not only locally, but globally. So um, there are a lot of issues that need to be just addressed, and so my daughter and I, we have started, um, we just launched this program for a speaker series, and we go out and address those issues to try to help, you know, um, awesome. stronger families. Awesome, awesome. Make sure you're going to... Jane, I just want to tell you, I love you. Thank you for making my uh, childhood <laughs> very you. special. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This is a... So go to, you know, like I said, go to Facebook, and you can Jane Kennedy Overton. I'm already the there. Page, <laughs> I'm there. The page, and you can learn all about it. Thank you so much for joining us. Like we said, we will call you again very soon. Okay. We'll get close to the Super Bowl. Uh, thanks for joining the Crush, and we look forward to talking to you later. Thank you, Jane. Okay, God bless you. You too. We'll be right back. You want to see who's in the network? Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Follow us on Instagram at Sensation Station Network. We're the nation's urban station. Radio, not dumbed down.
In 50 feet, turn left. Why are you driving so slowly? After a few drinks, I'm taking it slow. Well, you're not fooling the cop behind you. What? Get ready to pay in point one miles. <sighs> Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Did you know volunteering can be fun? Community service is for everyone. Young people, families, men, women. As a volunteer, you'll help your community and gain valuable skills. Network with others. Energize your life. Make an impact and have fun. Get in step with your community. Volunteer. Visit www.lionsclubs.org. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I'm an expert, and I'm a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com. That's michaelmcfadden.com, and let Truisms help Help you to the next level. Yo, it's your boy Michael McFadden. If you hear my voice right now, that means you're tuned in to the crush on Sensation Station Network. Shout out to them cowboys. Not for real. Maceo Glaze, what up? And we're back. Hey, man, we're going to the Crush Rundown, brought to you by Parish Capital. At Parish Capital, we can help you achieve your financial goals by providing high-quality advisory services and making smart investment decisions. Go to parishcapital.com, that's T-A-R-R-I-S-H, capital with an A.com, for more information. Uh, first of all, me and Macy, got to get off our high real quick before we jump into this. Boy, 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 Macy, boy. Hey, man, I'm just saying, man. I used to get up every Sunday, man. <laughs> Look here, man. You ain't got to talk about Eric Cross like that, though. Man, Eric Cross had that long part in his head, yeah, but I ain't yeah, really yeah. care about that because yeah, all yeah, I was looking yeah, at was yeah, Jane yeah. Kennedy, man. Well, let me tell you something. Boy, that's real. That's, 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 that's real. That's big for you boys, man. Man, that's, hey, man. And she said we can call her again. Too. Yeah, man, I got her phone number, man. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. She can say we can call her again. Yeah, she said we can call her anytime. Oh, boy. Yeah, Hold man. on, let me. Okay, yeah, I say it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead to the crush right now, man. We're going to bring in a, a, a young fellow, but we ain't going to, we ain't going to officially interview him. We're just going to let him hang out with us. D'Angelo Yancey is in the building from us. Maze hiding out for Duke Boilermaker. Boilermaker. How you doing? Man? How, y'all doing? How you feeling today, brother? Pretty good. You hanging out with us, man. Just just hang out with us for a little bit because we got a whole bunch of questions for you, man. Yeah, we got a lot of questions yeah, for you. I got a whole bunch of questions for you. Yeah, because we're going to actually in the, in, introduce you properly. Yeah, we just want to hang out with you. Yeah, yeah, right just now. hang out, man. Hang out with your boys, man. Gotcha. Yeah, 62222, so we're going to. Big old boy, man. <laughs> hey, this young Sterling Shaw, I'm already called it, but he's faster than Sterling, though. Yeah, he got a little bit more speed. Yeah, he got a little more speed than Sterling, though. So my first one makes still Matt Barnes has been suspended two games for fighting a coach, Derek Fisher, over his ex wife. Was it deserved, Maceo, in your opinion? Man, they should have did it early in the year. That happened this summer. What happened? What are they doing? Man, the NBA be tripping, man. They got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, you know, yeah. they need to figure out why. Uh, we'll get to that later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Matt Bourne sitting there looking. Man, Matt Bourne quit driving down. And, and she's your ex, not wife. Yeah, man. You down yeah. there driving all up in the video. Yeah, man. That's, that, that's tough. All dog. on these shows, all that's, these uh, yeah, reality shows. Hey, man. Get out your feelings, man. Hey, man. 
Light skin problems, dog. <laughs> Light skin problems, man. What you got, Mace? Hey, man, my homegirl, man, Miko Grimes. Woo. She in the news again, man. She yeah. goes on a Twitter rant after the Dolphins lost, and she basically said that everybody hates Ryan Tannehill. Wow. And everybody knows that the quarterback is the franchise. But for her to say that like that, though. Well, and you got to think now, early this season, she got arrested outside the game. Brent, it's not looking good for you, dog. Brent, Brent. You got, you, Brent, you got to control You got to control it. You got to control, control your female. Because people ain't going to want to deal with you after a while. People want to. Great as an athlete, you are a good corner. You got problems, man. But, and and you know what's crazy, man? She is so legendary. She she had some, like, mm. times in the Georgia Dome. Boy. It's some legendary stories about she, Miko Grimes out here in these streets. She's lit up the Georgia Dome before. Yeah, she's legendary. Yeah. She's legendary. She was like the, uh, oh, man, she was like the new left eye. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, like well, that. Look that up. Yeah. Shout out to you, Rising. Hey, but anyway, man, my dog. Hey, right now, just quick update. Cincinnati up 7 nothing over Denver. A.J. Uh, McCarron. A.J. McCarron threw a touchdown to A.J. Green. A.J.'s in the building. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, on a sad note, man, if you have ever watched the Globe try the game, you know this name. Legend Metalark Lemon dies at the age of 30, 83. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Hey, they have no cause for the death, man. Did you ever happen to get to a Globe Trot again? Man, man? what? Metalark Lemon, man, was my dude, yeah, man. If you don't know that name, you don't know. You, you don't know nothing. Nothing. Metalark Lemon, nothing. but he you, died. You, man, shoot your childhood if you don't know who <laughs> Metalark Lemon is. If you ain't been scared that you thought that was actually war in the book. Yeah, yeah, and you know what's so crazy? And I, and I said that. I said uh, at his funeral, somebody should get the bucket. <laughs> walk and, around. And, and walk around with the bucket. And the people were like, huh? I was like, Shoot your child. Yeah, man. That, that's why I don't talk to a lot of y'all. Yeah, if y'all in y'all forties and say middle like who? Come on, man. Yeah, man. What you got, man? This story right here is a yeah. This kills me, man. Brandon Whedon and the Houston Texans on their way to the playoffs. This clown couldn't win no game in Dallas. <laughs> He on the verge of winning the ALC South. He about to go to the playoffs. And he finna go to the playoffs. You sap sucker. Man, go on somewhere with all that, man. Brandon Weed's about to win an AFC South title. Man, Host you the playoff game. Chump. <laughs> you, man, you punch shaving, boy. Well, let me call Las Vegas and find out. Man, you buster. <laughs> Tell him how you really feel, sir. <laughs> man, you a boy. Boy, he, boy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So, how you go right down the road? Right, right down the street. Right down the road to Houston. Houston. All of a sudden, you, you can win and football th- games now. He threw, he threw for two touchdowns and ran for one this weekend. Yeah, he ran for a touchdown. No picks. He was running in the sacks in Dallas. <laughs> man, you a Man, as they say in California back in the early 90s, man, you a Mark. <laughs> oh, you went back. Yeah, Mark. Oh, oh, Mark. Hell. Huh. I think we need to call the Petty Forest Center, man. So you seem a little petty right now. Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> but, whew. But uh, shout out to Kia. She gave me a new one, too. She called me Petty Bridgewater. <laughs> so that's my new name, y'all. Shout petty out Bridgewater. Shout out to Kia Sutton, man. Yeah. Uh, you good, man? You got that out? Man, Mark, man. <laughs> Buster. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. <laughs> hey, big shout out to Charles Woodson, who played his last game in Oakland on Saturday, December 26th. Oh, man. I have a great Charles Woodson story. Where do you rank Charles as all time? He one of, the, one of the best. He top five easy. One of the best. I can't think of two right now that may be a little bit above him. I mean, I know that's some older ones, but I think of Dion. Because the thing is, you ranking him as a corner? That's what I'm saying. Or as a safety? I said DB. I didn't, I didn't want Just to Just say DB. Up. Yeah, I don't want well, to put him as corner or safety. I'm thinking DB-wise. Dion and maybe Woodson. Rod Woodson. The, the, that's the standard. And Darren Green. Produce. We have to stop leaving out Darren Green. You think? Oh, he's a producer in the building. Right? He, see, look Rod at Woodson. <laughs> Rod Woodson. See, y'all. See, when you got legacy <laughs> and then you donate money to the program, see, all the young alumni <laughs> come behind you and they always shout your name out. So. Rod Woodson, Purdue. Yeah, I mean, as you go, Hayes, maybe. That's what people like that. Mel Blunt. Man, Charles Wilson won a Heisman, though. And, and, and you did a great thing when you showed his, his career from high school yeah. to college yeah, man. to pros, just a corner, the, the, safety. The, the, the just, kid, the guy been a winner his whole life. Just a winner, man. Everywhere he go. What you got, Mace? Hey, man. 
I'm going to have to tell my Charles Woods story later, Go ahead. man. No, you tell it now. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell it later, man. I'm going to tell it later. Ohio State running back Ezekiel Elliott was ticketed for a car crash. He was on his way to the Fiesta Bowl. Mm. Uh, Hydroplane this car. Big 12. <laughs> and the funny part about it is, you know, the kid was driving on suspended license, all that stuff. But they just, you know, kind of. told him, hey, get down out of that bowl game. But he did tear the car up, so, you know. Hopefully, let, me, let me get it straight. He tears the car up, right? Yeah. Now. One car accident, hydroplane, driving on, license. driving on suspended license. And they said, go ahead and get to the game. Just cited. He was just cited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, all right. Work for me. Wow. What do you think about that, man? I don't know if you can talk about that. No, no, no. We know. No, we we not, know. We're not getting a young fella in that. No, no trouble. We ain't getting in that. It'll be like Purdue wide receiver hating on yeah, Ohio State. Could, could, we say, could we say a hashtag Purdue, hashtag Big Ten? Yeah, hashtag, all that. No, we can't get you in some trouble. No. Stay back there. Don't get yeah. close to that, man. Yeah, yeah. amen. Yeah. <laughs> We look out for you. Cause yeah. I, I know yeah. you want to. And I can you, see it in your face. Don't you say nothing about no stipend or nothing like that. Just keep it moving. <laughs> keep it moving. Hey, there you go. Keep. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Hey, the Yankees trade Araldus for Araldus. Am I saying his name now? Chapman. Yeah, man. He is the, if y'all know about Chapman, 100, over 100 miles per hour. Got that heat, baby. Uh, Got that heat, baby. And they basically trade away a Big Mac, chicken nuggets, and a small fry for them. Three minor league players. And, and don't forget that mean high C orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you get that high C you, on, you like right, right when they change the fountain, yeah, and it's like real. But you gotta get it right then. Yeah, get it right then. Cause you get it later, it's gonna be watery. Yeah, if you if you come out the breakfast and get the high C on, it's gonna be real watery. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. But so just, the Yankees yeah. pulled that off, man. Cause that one's. Oh yeah, man. I mean, it's the Yankees. They always do stuff like that. Already talked. I'm looking at the ESPN. They, they feel like it's some shading that's going on. Cause he was supposed to go to who first, man? Well, you know, he had he had them issues. Yeah, had them issues. You know, so we ain't gonna talk about them issues he had. But they say somebody somehow that the Yankees get Chapman with seeing wrong match. Come on, man. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. If one team can take him, the pin strike, baby. Pin strikes to take him and then they can get all about it, man. So. Yeah, man. What you got, Mace? Hey man, Buffalo Sabres, left winger, Evander Kane. Mm -hmm. He's been investigated uh for a sexual offense. They they call it sexual offense, offense. when you're a hockey player. Yeah. But it happened Sunday. Um, they, yeah, they're yeah. saying he may or may not play this week. Okay, depends on the investigation. Oh, okay. So you know what that means. Yeah, they're trying to find a way to get it up under the rug because he's a, he's a major player. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a major, a major player, player. And, and it's hockey. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't tweet and Facebook and Instagram and hashtag NHL. Right. right. So the, these stories kind of, but, but I see everything. Yeah. The, the force strong with me, man. The force is strong. My my man. Jedi powers, man. I'm everywhere, man. It was an interesting slate, man, of NBA games on Christmas. I just want to bring them up a little bit. The Heat beat the Pelicans in overtime. Hey, the Browns, are, you know, he, they say he might be hurt now, but the Browns. The Browns are baller, though. Yeah, 29, 15, and 4. The Browns are baller. The Bulls beat the Thunder in OKC. Mm -hmm. Paul Casal, everybody, oh, Paul Casal, 21, 13, and 6. Not bad for all that. Warriors beat the Cavs. Draymond, Uncle Draymond did 22, 15, and 7. Hey, man, Draymond is a dog. <laughs> Rockets beat the Spurs, which was a pretty good game. I watched that one. And uh, Clippers beat the Lakers. That and uh, another quick fact. What's that? Man, that was the lowest rated basketball game on Christmas Day ever. Clipper Lakers? Clipper Lakers. Really? Yeah, and they said that was it, it was bad for TV. It I was, think because it was too. I think because it was so late. And you you were just woke out. Christmas Day wear you out, yeah, man. But if you got game, children, Christmas Day wear you out, man. And the game was kind of a blowout by halftime. Yeah, and then yeah. Hey, man. I need them to get Swaggy P out the league, dog. <laughs> First of all, I just need Swaggy P not to be called Swaggy P. I need your name, grown Nick, man, your man. name, Nick Young, a Nick, and you and you garbage. We need a grown. Say that again. You garbage. We need a grown this man. Game is man, garbage. Man. Trash can even. Hey man. Hey man. We gotta take about a, a quick station identification. Who? Call my Mark Mace. Mo Mark. <laughs> hey, Brandon Weed is in the building. We quick. Stay with us. Quick station identification. We'll be right back. Right back. The crush. The dream of the future brought to reality by Sensation Station Network. Now we come to the special feature of our program. Sensation Station Network. And we're back. So another, uh, I can't. So I, I just can't with this guy. 
Johnny Manziel appears in another social media clip. I wish somebody just take his phone, man. Just take something. He, he just don't have. He got the wrong people around him, man. But we digress. He said Cleveland Brown coach Mike Pettin says he will have another conversation after <sighs> another social media video of the quarterback surface Sunday night. Yeah, Yancey, when uh, we, we'll talk about that. When you get drafted, man, we're gonna take your phone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll talk about we'll that. Straight give you a pager, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no more. I give him a two way. Yeah, you ain't he gonna be beaming people. This is just sad. This is ridiculous, man. Uh, this is sad, man. It's just, yeah, man. The cat is spoiled. He's a spoiled. He's a spoiled. He's a spoiled player. His mama don't got that A rap money. They got all that big money, and he don't act like he owe nobody nothing. That's all right. All right. NFL stuff for not for long. Yeah, he'll be sitting there looking like Jerry Lorenzen after a while. He'll be hanging out with him, Jr. Ewing, <laughs> Bobby Ewing. Chilling out there with a big uh, cowboy hat on his head. Mm -hmm. What you got, man? Man, Florida Gators running back Jordan Scarlett. He's suspended for the Citrus Bowl versus Michigan. He was cited for marijuana possession, man. And the kid was getting carries, man. He's Kelvin uh, Taylor's backup. Mm -hmm. So now even more pressure is going to be put on the worst quarterback in college football, Treon Harris. Oh, Treon. Man, that kid is awful, man. I can't wait till he move to wide receiver in the spring. Because they got to have some. That dude is, man. Oh, my God. And I don't even talk about the cheering, but, yeah, he bad. Yeah, he, yeah, we know we hate doing this. We hate doing it. Hey, man, big thing out, man. Also, the two people that I was telling you about, show, they say Clay Matthews and Julius Peppers also were in that report for PEDs. So oh. they're strongly denying the that Peppers. report. Yeah, so they're strongly denying the report as well. Their name got slid in there as well, man. It just – it's wild, man. It's oh, wild. Peppers. Oh, hmm. And you know when your boy Tom Brady was like, I support Peyton 100%. Well, end, end of story now. Once Tom say it. Once, once, Tom, once Tom say it, it's good. Yeah. No, that's all that matters, man. It's all Gucci. Tom said, man. It's all Gucci. What you got, man? Hey, man, Atlanta Hawks, Tiago Splitter. It's going to be out at least the next two games, man. What a strained calf, man. I'm starting to think that what you call them pulled a job on us, man, sending him to Atlanta, man. Co Bud, you can't keep falling for them tricks, man, out of San Antonio, man. You got to quit being Popovich's boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, nah, just call, but no, nah, nah, don't get called the principal's office. But, yeah. I stopped. Yeah. I stopped. I stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Because, man, you, you, I'm about to agree with you. We're getting stumped every time we play San Antonio. He, he doing that, um, you know, that, that like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Told, told the Stormtroopers. He playing you, with him. He will take us to, yeah. Look at A.J. McCarron playing some ball. Balling. Hey, real quick, man, mine is simple. For everybody out there listening, my father, Willie Glaze, birthday today. Man, Willie Glaze made me proud. Big shout out man. to you, Willie, if you're listening. I know you're listening. Wake Happy up, birthday, man. Pops. You know you got to go to work. They still making you work, Pop. There ain't no love for you, man. But That's all right. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> when we get this deal, Pops, it's, it's, it's getting close, Pops. We'll take care of you, man. Big shout out. Happy birthday, Father. We'll talk to you later, man. You got anything else, Mace? <sighs> yeah, man. No, nah, man. How much time I got? Yeah, real quick, man. I'm just giving my Charles Woods story, man. Real quick. So, yeah, man. We, man, we was at, at the show about one night, man. Me and my boy D.D. Allen Kelly, man. So, this what we, man, you know, we had prime location. Okay. Dude walk over to us. Dude say, hey, man, uh, can my partner get them two seats? He said, y'all could drink all night. He said, who your partner? He pointed over there. Man, man Charles Woods. <laughs> yeah, you can get this spot. Come over. He's like, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Drink whatever you want. So, D.D. told him, oh, man, we finna go in. Man, this or everything. Alan Kelly say, hey, you know we can't out drink your pocket, right? Oh, well, we're going to give it a try. <laughs> we order and stuff, order and stuff. We look over the charge and say, hey. <laughs> hey. About 30 minutes later, AK tapped out, boy. You, you was done. <laughs> Charles Wilson was still doing like that. Hey. <laughs> Great dude, man. Awesome. Y'all did not drink it? Boy, no. <laughs> boy, he got cut show. We were trying to drink everything top shelf. Oh, boy. Top shelf, that strong stuff. Boy. boy, I'm talking about with the stuff like way up there. Oh, when he got reach up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. tripping. Y'all tripping yeah. in there. And then he would just send a shot like, yeah. He, he just do the, he do the waitress like this. Hey, them. <laughs> yeah, hard time. Ah, uh, yeah, man. We didn't mess up no commas. <laughs> the Crush Rundown brought to you by Parish Capital. Parish Capital will help you achieve your financial goals by providing high-quality advisory services, making smart investment decisions. Go to parishcapital.com for more information. And when we come back, man, we jump into really. Stay with us. It's The Crush right here on Cessation Station Network. Yep. You know you're a 
listening to the dopest show on the airwaves. Right? You're my boy! It's the it's crush. crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. Sure. Okay, we're still here with a man, Keon Carpenter, man. So, Keon, let's talk about it, man. I just feel like when we go out as women, in particular, we are so insecure at some point. Winning is designed to avoid feelings of losing and failure. People who are emotionally weak have to be conscious and have to admit their weaknesses. So There's imagine no your son at 1 o'clock in the morning. Where where should he be at at 1 o'clock in the morning? He should be at home, at least. In his bed. In his bed at 1 o'clock. Or playing a game. <laughs> If you have a prayer request, by all means, you can always um, let us know from time to time. We're here every Saturday on the Taste of Sedition. On Sensation Station Network. Radio not down. This is Judge Hatchet, and you're listening to The Crush on SSNATL.com. Really, Crush fans? This is the section of the show where we question the intelligence of our sports brethren. And we're back. Boy, that story is funny, Macy Elwood. Can you not drink pocket sometimes? Man? Hey, man. The dude say, hey, y'all, you know you can't out drink your pocket now. Boy, Macy Elwood thought y'all could do it. But you look, hey, man, you live and you learn, man. Yeah, man. Boy, didn't, he, hey, didn't even flinch when the bill came, yeah. out. I mean, he ain't even flinch. You know, sometimes you'd be like, like trying to peep it like one eye. But he ain't even flinched, dog. Just put the card on there and kept it moving. Man, he just kept it moving, man. Hey, man, we got to get into really where we question the intelligence of some of our sports brethren. Mace, you want to start this now, buddy? Yeah, oh, man, yes, Penner, please start. Go man. ahead, man. Rams punter Johnny Hecker. You don't hear from me, too. <laughs> really, dude, you going to cheap shot somebody, and then when he turn around, you going to fold up? Just not somebody. Like a cheap suit. Cliff Averill. Cliff Averill. One of the meanest yeah. jokers on the field. There's a video going around. I want y'all to all go look. Yeah, man. Hey, man. man. You a, but that's why you're a punter, dude. Be a punter. Hey, man, punter, all punters do, go to practice. You got one time. Punt and get up out of there. Don't even pass to practice, man. I want y'all to all go and watch a video. Really, Johnny Hecker. Johnny Hecker goes and hit Cliff Averill. Cliff Aver. And then when Cliff Averill come back to hit him, and, and they play. But what's crazy, when Cliff Averill, because you know he getting in the film today. Oh, man. Because when the punter cheap shot you. Oh. Yo. But there was a play right after that when he punted again. First Cliff came in. Yo. And he then, fell on the ground yeah. real quick. <laughs> And then Bennett came right yeah. behind me. And that's what I've been looking out for anyway. Yeah. I'm looking for Bennett. Because they were going to hurt you, boy. Bennett crazy. Be a punter. Yo, be, be a, a punter. Be a punter. Hey, man, it's my big shout out to Larry Nance Jr. Boy, you're playing some good ball. But you got to make sure you rebound and take it down and not slap it back into your own goal, son. Yeah, man, give another team points, man. man. Two points for another team. Against the Clippers, man, he went for a rebound. And if you go and look it up, Larry Nance Jr. shot it back in his goal. Really, Larry? Yeah. You already got a problem because you called out Kobe before you got drafted. Yeah. And now you and now your teammate. Now his teammate slap it in rebound. Mama, the mama probably give him that work every day. Yeah, oh he probably in practice. He say, Larry, you I got you. Just remind him. <laughs> Larry, I got you, Larry. Just remind him. Hey man. What you got, Mace? Dez Bryant. <laughs> really Dez. Monkey you, juice. Dez. <laughs> you really gonna just take Jerry Jones' money, all his money. And you're going to give us this kind of performance this year. You're going to sit out yesterday. He yeah. sat out? He was out. I was on the road. He sat out? He, he, he was a DNP. Oh. Really, Dez. Oh, you serious? So, let's, let's just do a quick timeline. <laughs> First game. You, you, you got to get IV. IV because you're tired. Because you're tired because you're not in no shape. You break your foot. You buy a monkey. You buy a monkey. You bought a monkey. You got monkey juice on your hands. Shouldn't have never gave you Joker's money. <laughs> 
And you decide that, man, we should have franchised your butt. DNP. Wow. Yeah, man. Really it is. Wow. Really it is. Was that him or the coaches? No. Man, it don't even matter, man. You should be saying, I want to be This time last year, he would have played. He played every game. Really it is. All right, man. I feel better. I'm a little bit. Hey, man. We already talked about this. But come on, Miko. You're making it hard for your husband right now. <laughs> hey, man. Miko, a legend in these streets, man. Miko, you, 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 you making Doug Christie White look like a saint. Man, <laughs> if y'all know about Doug Christie wife, Miko Grimes is a legend <laughs> in these streets, man. Boy, you have blew up the Georgia Dome. Miami is hotter than it's supposed to be man. right now. Miko Grimes, Kurt Snow, <laughs> Jeezy. Yeah. Hey, man, certified <laughs> in these streets, man. Miko Grimes, man. You got – Legend. You got Tannehill getting uh, sessions now because he can't – he he know he suck now because Miko said it. Yeah. Miko. Yeah, man. Come on, Miko. Yeah, Miko. Hey, so, Miko. Miko, somebody gonna be out of there. It ain't gonna be Tannehill. Grimes. Really, Grimes. It ain't gonna be Tannehill. Believe that. And it's gonna be hard for your husband to get a job. Yeah. But I don't want no problems, Miko. I'm just telling you. What you got, Mace? Dallas Cowboys offense. <laughs> really, America's team. We can only muster six points against Buffalo. And Buffalo. I mean. It's bad enough it's just been a bad season. <laughs> and then Mr. You Like That <laughs> just won the division. Oh, Deshaun Jackson going around the, with the Deshaun, Deshaun just all in the Philadelphia, all in the video. <laughs> he just making everybody feel bad. And then I got to watch Kellen Moore on Sunday. I thought there was promise with Kellen, too. It was just, maybe, it was just man, he's, he's garbage, man. He's a weak. He got a weak arm. He can't even skip rocks across the lake, boy. It just hit push. Man, it just go straight in the water, man. Terrible, man. Really, Dallas Cowboys. Six points. That's, man, that's what y'all going to give me. Man, I, I ain't trying to jump on it, but really, Cowboys, you didn't know you had a, a playoff quarterback in your town? Brandon Wheaton. Really, Brandon Wheaton. You decided to <laughs> change address and just tie. Oh, now you can throw the ball. 15 of 20. You, you ain't checking down no more. 200 yards, two touchdowns. And a rushing touchdown. And a really, rushing touchdown. Really, Brandon Wheaton. You can run zone read now. <laughs> really? You you, you you read the end and pulling the ball? Really? They so. The end checking for Alfred Blue? Really? <laughs> Behind a, a line that is not as great as y'all. You really in the same time with Dwight Howard getting wins. <laughs> really? I'm putting the little B curse on Let me tweet little B yeah. right quick. <laughs> Let little B know, man. Brandon Wee down there doing the cook he, he doing the cooking dance, man. About to, get, yeah. about to put him under the Let, curse, man. Let me get the little B curse going right now. You got anything else, Mason, man? No, nah, man. I am so 38 hot, man. I am. I would finish like this. 38. Really, Tom Coughlin? That's the best y'all can do against Minnesota. They had twinkle toes, man. And he's going to get into my, I guess, the guy. Look, man. I, they didn't have a dance machine. Here's what, here's what I want you to know, man. When you get that check, it's a job. I don't care if you one in twenty. Play the game, Okay, re- re- real quick. Really, Ruben Randall, you did all that whining about being an OBJ shadow. You're the one receiver. And that's what you do? You you give up on the ball last night? Why was I going to give up on the rock, do we? Never. Now, when that rock coming to you? <laughs> man, so what was that, man? Hey, He's man. a professional athlete, not not amateur. If, if I was professional, Eli, if I was Eli yesterday, about the middle of the third quarter, I would have went and slapped everybody <laughs> who dread, even the practice squad players yeah, just who play court. wide out. Just I just slap. I would even call Victor Cruz and be like, "Hey man, meet me at the airport. <laughs> you getting it too?" I definitely get the the blonde hair bomber, cheap shot. He around there dancing, making dancing, videos. Kind of video. You know they making routines. I mean they are strong routines. He trying to out dance strippers at strip clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. No, don't, don't, yes. don't, 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 don't buy none of those sparkly shoes, yes. No, no, yes. no, don't do no it. fish tank. Straight, straight no. Nike. We, no we don't get into it, man. D'Angelo Yance is coming up. I'm y'all. sorry, man. I just kind of got – and, and I'm I probably the Falcons are not out of it, but I'm listening to the game on the road, and I'm like, snack duty. I'm on snack duty. But, snack duty. But when you're riding and you hear a game, and you're like, is this – what kind of – is this high school? <laughs> garbage, man. If Players I was, couldn't get free. Hey, man. Moving around, and they want to say around and block nobody. Garbage. Hey, man. All right, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> D'Angelo Yance are coming up, man. Hey, D'Angelo's with us. Stay in with the us. building. It's the crush, man. Yep.
want to see who's in the network? Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Follow us on Instagram at Sensation Station Network. We're the nation's urban station. Radio, knock them down. In 50 feet, turn left. Why are you driving so slowly? After a few drinks, I'm taking it slow. Well, you're not fooling the cop behind you. What? Get ready to pay in point one miles. <sighs> Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Did you know volunteering can be fun? Community service is for everyone. Young people, families, men, women. As a volunteer, you'll help your community and gain valuable skills. Network with others. Energize your life. Make an impact and have fun. Get in step with your community. Volunteer. Visit www.lionsclubs.org. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I am an expert, and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. What's going on, everybody? This your boy, Macy O'Hurt. And this your fam, E. Glaze. And you're listening to The Crush, the dopest sports show on radio, right here on SSNATL.com. How about them cowboys? How about not? Say tell, shorty. Home of them black and red, them dirty birds. Mike Vick. Nah, uh, nah, so we got to move on. Maddie Slushy. Slushy? Tony. Oh, no. Romo. <laughs> oh, no. Romo. How much your bail money is this week? Romo. <laughs> Can we get Dez out of jail this week, man? <laughs> it's the Falcons, baby. ATL hey, Shaw, you listen to The Crush right here on Sensation Station Network. Jordan Nelson, and we're right back. <laughs> Going into our crushing interview with our man, Yangelo. Yes, it makes you upset this man. Though, man. Hey, man, let me tell y'all something, man. When, 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 when you can, uh, in your junior season, put up 48 catches, man, 700 yards, five TDs, man. When you're 6'2", 223, and when you're in the top 20 in reception yards and touchdowns, man, in your conference, man, you did some things, man. D'Angelo Yance in the building, man. What's going on, my dude? What's <laughs> happening, man? What's up? You ready? Hey, man. 6'2", 220? Yeah. He makes you thought you were two hundred. He, he, he's gonna take. <laughs> no, man, down. yeah, I, I, but yeah, I was, but I was, I was shaving. I was so shaving. Let me ask you this: Wait, being that size, how does that help you as a receiver in today's time, man? Well, being cause that's a good size for uh, receivers, especially the Big Twelve. DBs little. They like <laughs> yeah, the DB like five ten. Yeah, one ninety. Yeah. So I'm always gonna have that advantage. Body, put that body on them. I love it. So man, you playing in the Big Twelve, man, and you 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 get the Big Ten, man. It's the Big Ten. I'm sorry, get the Big Twelve off your brain, man. No, I'm still talking Kenny, Dan Kimstick. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a job to do. Yeah, Big Ten. They they call me a groupie on Facebook and everything, <laughs> but we we digress. We digress. Let's keep going. So you're in the Big Ten, man, and you, you see what's going on, man. How is it playing in the Big Ten? Because you, it, great teams out there. Being in yeah. the Big Ten, being in pretty much your own network, your own this, your own that. How is it playing in the Big Ten? It's physical. Uh, that's one thing. Every team gonna give you their best shot, and every game is an important game. It's like Nebraska just made a bowl game. It's five and seven. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. We'll talk about that. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. You come in, you had a high number, eighty. Coach, I gotta get in that single digit. Oh yeah. How, how did that process go? 
I came in. Well, he called me first. Okay. This is how they, they buddy you up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know who wore 80? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They tried to go with that one. Oh, the Jerry Rice move. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, you know, good I'm coming yeah. out of high school. I'm just ready to get there. I say, all right, I can do that. Yeah, yo, yo. No problem. But I knew I ain't want no 80. Yo, yo. This, when you go in the locker room looking, oh, yeah. well, I'm hey. terrible <laughs> in this number. Yo. Looking at pictures. Come on, 80? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Atlanta, man. We were single digits around here, <laughs> man. Yeah, I had an uh, okay freshman year. And I asked him right after the season, heading in the spring. He was like, you get good grades, you can have it. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Oh, that's easy. That point, yeah, that's the easy part. Three point something after that, boy. You better, you better. I'm uh, getting out this eighty. Had to. <laughs> so, man, Maze High alum, man, big. You know, describe your time at Maze High, man, because we we got a lot of lo- Maze love on this show around here. So, describe your time at Maze, man. I had a great time at Maze. Uh, got to thank Callaway. Callaway was the head coach when I was there. Uh, then Coach Hood came in late, but. I always had fun from my freshman year to my senior year. And what do you think about them now, what they're doing now? It's a big move. Yeah, they're they doing big things. <laughs> went to the, what was it, last year? Mm-hmm. Last year went to the Dome. Yeah. yeah. They're doing big moves. Uh, what's the head coach? I forgot Coach Jarvis. Coach, coach Jarvis, Jarvis yeah. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to you, Jarvis. He yep. came in and he changed it around real quick. Changed the coach quick. <laughs> real yeah. quick. Well, now how, does, how does a kid from Atlanta get all the way to Purdue? Oh my God! That's a nine-hour drive. I don't know how I made it all the way up there. <laughs> I just crossed Purdue coming home, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Because I mean, you, your senior year, I mean, you, 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 you were kind of a big deal because you, you had the size, you know, you had the grades. Yeah. So how do you get out? Yeah, how, how one, you get? Two, how, yeah, how three you get? Three states. How, how, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you, how you get? I'm looking at all the states you do. How do you get through? past? Get that past UGA, past USC, past Tennessee. And you way up Purdue. How you get there? How'd that happen? Uh, I don't know. I had, well, UJ was looking at me pretty hard, but you know they had people who they wanted, and I wasn't gonna sit around and wait on them. You know, no doubt they no wanted doubt. to do that role. But I committed to Kentucky real early, mm-hmm. and that kind of shut down my recruiting process. And then later on, they had a coaching change. They clear house. Joker was gone. Joker, Joker was gone. gone. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. clear house, and they just mm-hmm. left me out. The new dude came in. And basically what he told me is your body type and your bed don't fit my system. He basically told me I was too slow. Wow. <laughs> That's what he said. Wow. At Kentucky? At Kentucky. Wow. That's what he said. Well, they and got stoops. Oh, OC said that. OC said that. What his name was? It? John Brown, I think? Yeah. 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 And where yeah. He, had, he gone, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he so, gone. Yeah, that's probably yeah, why he gone. Hey, yeah. It's the recruiting decision. But, yeah, they hard. did that. So I decommitted from him, and I was trying to hit up other coaches and call around, but – they looking at me like we well, was the last option because I had shut everybody down. And I committed to Kentucky. Wow! And, and this is one of the reasons I don't think kids should make verbal commitments. Yeah. I I I, I think the verbal commitment thing is a bad thing because it just because so much stuff can happen from now between yeah. the time you commit to the time it is because you commit but you don't sign in February. Exactly. And you end up like say schools like well we done kind of moved on since you you know you don't commit it. They so quick. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, hey we good. I'm thinking you got a six-two receiver. Okay, well, you yeah. Know, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I got room for you. He told you you was too slow. Yeah. Hey, Kentucky. That's what, said. that's what he said. Man, y'all ain't won nothing, Kentucky. Yeah. This ain't basketball. Hey man, we about to take a quick break in a few seconds. But when we come back, man, we're gonna talk about your your career, at Purdue. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about you know, your coach. You know, going into that we're senior gonna, year, buddy. We gotta oh, talk yeah. about what, what what's his favorite stadium to play in outside of Purdue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we got that. We got Here that. we come. We'll throw all the questions to him, man. Yeah. We just get started. It's the Hush. Yeah. Say Station Network. You want to see who's in the network? Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Follow us on Instagram at Sensation Station Network. We're the nation's urban station. Radio, knock them down. In 50 feet, turn left. Why are you driving so slowly? After a few drinks, I'm taking it slow. Well, you're not fooling the cop behind you. What? Get ready to pay in .1 miles. (sighs) 
Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Did you know volunteering can be fun? Community service is for everyone. Young people, families, men, women. As a volunteer, you'll help your community and gain valuable skills. Network with others. Energize your life. Make an impact and have fun. Get in step with your community. Volunteer. Visit www.lionsclubs.org. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. This is Ford Jarvis, head football coach at Mays High School. When I listen to sports radio, I listen to FSNATL.com. And we're back. Hey, man. Right now, score is 14 0. Cincinnati's still doing their thing. It looks good right now for them, right now. You know. Devil Asso, Rocker, ain't looking too good. We're back with man, with our man, D'Angelo Yancey, wide receiver for the Purdue Board of Makers, man. So, Yancey, man, uh, D'Angelo, I'm sorry. <laughs> you. you, you, you your, your your wins and how, how's it being there at Purdue, man? It's been a little rough right there, man. With the, yeah, with the the record and thing like that. How do y'all? What's been going on? What's some of the things that you feel are changing? And you know, up there in Purdue, because it's been a, you know since your freshman year, it's been a pretty rough slide up there a little bit. Oh yeah, it, it's been hard. But <laughs> you know, I know in our room, the receiver room, we just we control, we control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like uh, with the coaches and stuff like that, we getting new OCs and. Quarterback coach, we control, we control, and when it's time to make plays, we make our plays. That's right, that's right. That's all you can ask, man. Because and, and, and I'm piggybacking off of that. So you're you're going into your senior year right now. Yep. How do you, the senior class feel right now? Because you still got your head coach still. Mm-hmm. What are y'all goals going into next year as a senior class, man? Uh, well, number one goal is to win, but <laughs> we ain't really set goals yet. But mm-hmm. I know that the uh, senior class. I, we're going to do some big things because most of the offense generated last season was from the sophomores and juniors. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, so we got a lot of confidence in our class, a lot of leadership in our class too. Mm-hmm. Now, talk talk to kids about the process of being a college athlete because it's a year-round thing. Oh, yeah. Not no, okay, the season over, I got a few weeks off, and then summertime I don't have to do nothing. Just talk about the pro- how it's just a, it's a 24-7 grind. Oh, yeah, I learned the hard way. <laughs> uh, coming out that freshman year and playing playing right away like I did, everybody in your ear came back home. I wasn't doing nothing, but <laughs> nothing. Now you got to make sure you. We call it year round shape. Ain't nothing yeah. like year round shape. Oh, especially for a wide out. Yeah, exactly. Especially we run for a wide out. You run, you run every play. Cause you yeah. come back in there, all, having that relax too much during the off season if you want to. Oh yeah, it only take a week. Like that's, all it take. that's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Just a week. <laughs> well, they say Dez Bryant. You see how he did. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that right now, man. We're going to talk about it. Right I don't know how you get IVs on the first game of the season. We're going to talk about it. Yeah. Hey, so talk about Coach Harold, man. I mean, Hazel, I'm sorry. <laughs> how is it with him, man? How is he as a coach for you guys? He's a laid back dude. He's never too high, never too low. So you'll never get any, I say, mixed emotions from him. He's a straight face dude. Oh, yeah. okay. You got bud. You gotta love that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta but you love. You know it. what you're getting from. Him. Oh yeah, you know what you're getting. Yeah, which makes a difference, man. So we gotta get y'all in the bowl game next year, man. Cause we got we gotta see y'all. Oh man. yeah, I gotta get to my senior year. I got to. How, how exciting is it with all these? Cause this new thing, all these uniforms. Oh now, Y'all yeah. got about four, five helmets, man. man. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Like y'all got the helmet with the American flag or something on there. <laughs> is it, how is that not knowing? Do you, when do you find out what y'all wearing on game day? 
Oh, when once you, you hop off the bus with the suit and tie on or run in the locker room, the oh. first one in there, that's the first one to see it. <laughs> 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 and I usually make sure I'm the first one because I hate waiting in line to get taped. <laughs> I hate it. That's a true one. So let me ask you this. That's a true wide out. Let me see if you're a true wide out. You're already talking. It sounds like you're a true wide out. True wide out. Are you the last one to come on the field? All, all the time. <laughs> but even because I want to get sued, though. Uh, no, no, wait a minute. No, man. <laughs> yes, no. yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> the wide out code. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, so you the last one to come out, man? Yeah, because the way we do it, we have, we got like this little smoke. And the shoot fire and everything. We, we, Ross say, they call it like the furnace. Right. So they shoot the smoke up and. You can't see nothing. You can't see nothing. I seen one person fall my freshman year. I said I'd never be up there. Yeah. I'd never fall. And you the guys who be up there to be the guys that don't even play. Exactly. They can have it. Yeah, they can have it. Uh, <laughs> listen, no leading the crowd. You just walking out. You, be, you got to be fresh when you get out there. Yeah. I'll lead, I lead them out there, you know, go out there first. But when the once they get to running, I'll wait, stand back. Yeah. See, that's a, it, 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 y'all got to understand. It's a wide out thing. You out there on the island. And when you score, you die count of dies, you you catch you catch a big ball, you down there by yourself till your teammates oh, get yeah. down there. So I used to always hate them come jump on me. Oh yeah, I So I, I would, I would go down there and I go, I do my pose and I get the crowd up <laughs> and then next thing you know you get out hey, hey man <laughs> Leave me alone so I can celebrate. I don't like when they be getting too high, they get to slap in your head. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get a concussion. Exactly. I got to go back. <laughs> That's why we did it, because y'all come all over. So you're a real wide out. Yeah. See, Dan Lowe, you're a real wide out. Man. I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> Dang, man. Hey, so scoring, you see, your, your numbers went up this year. Mm-hmm. What would you attribute that to? Because you, you got 705 touchdowns, which means you're going to be on another projection next year to get them up. What are you doing every offseason to make sure that you're getting them numbers where they need to be every year, man? I know it's last off season. It was just straight work. It was coming off my sophomore. You call it a sophomore slump. I saw that <laughs> it was a little slumpy, man. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm talking about as soon as soon as that last game was over, I got right to it. Me and my yeah, uh, my roommate Greg, he from Georgia too. He, he went to Arabia. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Right off the bat, I, I looked at your number, man, and that's a huge jump from sophomore. To oh yeah, I had to. Was it just something different? You just it was just year round, like you said. You just went year round, like it's, yeah. It's, I went, I went year round. It was. It was knowing that that wasn't me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember the numbers. Uh, 12 catches, 146 yards, three touchdowns. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget them. Yeah, I saw them yeah. too. I ain't want to bench yeah. them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah i never forget them. And, and, and what people don't understand, being a wide out when you used to catching the ball. Exactly. And you, you, but I would always, let me go a quarter without a catch. Oh, somebody. Somebody would, hear about yeah, it. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> I love this kid. Yeah. He can get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody, the, especially the quarterback. Like, I, I always somehow find a way to room with the quarterback. Yeah, every so camp. I, yeah, so, so I, yeah, so I work in that angle every day. Like, mm-hmm. hey, man, you know, I be open on that. Hey, boy, who? So when you, I know you do your, your film work. When you see a cornerback out there about 5'10", what are you, so what's some of your things that go through your mind right there? Got him before you even get out there? What are some of the things that cross your mind right there? Uh, we scout him pretty good, but it depends on what I'm, what I'm looking at. If you, some corners, they don't do much. They don't, they don't want to touch it. They don't want to be too aggressive. Yeah. And I'd be like, man, he don't want no problem. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna worry about him. Yeah, because well, then you get the corners that they trying to make a name for themselves. They all yeah. up in there. Hey, you guys play? You play? You played Ohio State? Yeah, my freshman year. My freshman year, y'all, cause y'all do y'all y'all get them this year, right? Uh, I don't, I don't have a little scared. I don't know. Ah, well, well, you guys played them in the big house. Oh, they came. No, you guys. They came, yeah. Just the the, the 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 persona of Ohio State. Now, how was that playing them the first time you saw them? Uh. Oh, I got to see. I got to see Braxton, the quarterback. Was, okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It was my first year, so I was just like, I'm yeah. playing against you guys. I was looking at it on TV. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of like, just all, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you speaking of that, describe the trans, you know, the transfer going from high school senior to college freshman and playing. How has that changed for you? The speed of the game. Because you, when you go in the summer, everybody can work out. You can get to work out and do all that. <laughs> but that, that first day, we got the fall camp. And, like, as soon as we got there, they, they running through play. I'm like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and Coach telling me to get in, he's going to help me. And, you know, you got you got guys, they've they been there. They don't, they'll help you, but, you know, everybody trying to get theirs. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. the speed of the game. And what about the first time you got, like, in individual drill? And you start looking like, ain't nobody ever taught me to run no routes like this. What? And then you got <laughs> certain coaches, they want you to run a route how they want you to run yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah like, oh, that, who taught you this? Where you, where you get this from? Well, you, yeah, that's stem it. Well, it's like a working this league. Yeah, stem it. Yeah, stem it. <laughs> Never do that, ever. <laughs> Never. Hey, man. Hey, man. So, 
we're keeping you on, man, because we're going to talk about a little bit more college football. But stay with us. We're going to keep the interview because we got a question. I want you to think about it. Oh, we'll let you talk about it. Yeah. Make sure you already talked about it. We're going to talk about it when yeah, you come back. We got it. Gotcha. It's the crush right here on Sensation Station Network. You know you're listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the, it's the crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I am an expert, and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. Sure. Okay, we're still here with a man, Keon Carpenter, man. So, Keon, let's talk about it, man. I just feel like when we go out as women in particular, we are so insecure at some point. Winning is designed to avoid feelings of losing and failure. People who are emotionally weak have to be conscious and have to admit their weaknesses. So There's imagine no your son at 1 o'clock in the morning. Where where should he be at at 1 o'clock in the morning? He should be at home at least. In his bed. In his bed at 1 o'clock. Or playing a game. <laughs> If you have a prayer request, by all means, you can always um, let us know from time to time. We're here every Saturday on the Taste of Tradition. Sensation Station Network. Radio not done now. This is Robert Hicks, ex-NFL football player and actor with the blind side, and you're with the crush at SSNATL.com, Sensation Station Network. And we're back. Still doing our interview with our man D'Angelo Yancey. Make sure you had a question you want to ask. Hey man, we got a man, we got to interview more wide outs, man. Oh, you in heaven right now? <laughs> you, you but you had a question you had to ask him, man. You want me? You, man, now you go ask, man. What was your favorite state outside of Purdue? Yeah, to play in so far. Uh, we played in um Lucas Oil. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, but besides the NFL stadium, it was Minnesota. Oh really? Yeah, that was one of them in September. Mm, we it was it was a good day. It was oh, okay, 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 okay it was yeah. A good day. Oh, yeah. They open air. They ain't got no roof at yeah. in Minnesota, man. Now you you in this mouthpiece. Where you get this mouthpiece from? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> where you get this mouthpiece from? Beast piece. Cause Beast I, I, piece. I I I got in trouble. I I just get in trouble with referees a lot without because I don't like wearing my mouthpiece. I can't breathe with it in. Understand. Yeah. Understand. So, Sound like a white ass. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I I never wore mine. Exactly. I used to hide mine. And All the time, my uh, the wide receiver from Miami, he uh, he he came to practice with one. I was like, "You tripping? Why you don't wear it in the game?" I was like, "Man, give me the website." Went online, grabbed it. Yeah, black and white. I had to get it. Yeah, cause like you got some big old teeth in your mouth. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> little vampire teeth. <laughs> so you, you talked about it a little bit earlier, man. How often have you seen some of the greats like Drew Brees, Rod Woodson, some of the old school boilermakers come through, man? And how often have you had a chance to interact with some of those guys, man? Uh, Jabriz came. Jabriz came uh, when we played Ohio State. He came and talked to us before that game. Um, I never seen Rod Wilson in person, but mm-hmm. he, he always talking about him. But Leroy Key is there almost every okay, weekend. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, every mm-hmm. weekend. That's good stuff. That's, that's good, good stuff, though. And did that put any just to know some of the legacy of you guys? What did that? That's a boilermaker. How did that make you feel, man? Are you trying to get that? Because you know, we want to make sure we understand. Oh yeah, the Angelo Yancey mm-hmm. coming back to hang out with us, man. It's good. No, they're coming back and they still care about the program. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And we're in a little drought right now, but they still coming back. Uh, Kerrigan came back for a game. Y'all always gonna love your school. Yeah, gotcha. this is what I want to know, especially with you know being a wide out. All the shoes you get. Oh, the yeah. shoes and the gloves, man. Uh-huh. That, 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 that's got to be one heck of a perk. It's the the yeah. no, I can get, man, okay, I might get some three quarters today, tomorrow, and get some lows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have <laughs> equipment manager named Barry. You yeah. got to know him. Yeah. 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 You got to your boy. <laughs> you got yeah. to know the equipment manager. Freshman year, I was like, I need some new gloves. In the middle of the game, 
I said, man, hold on. I went to the back and rubbed them up a little bit. <laughs> and like, I, hey, man, I rubbed my gloves, man. I need some new ones. Boy, but me and Barry, we're cool now. We're cool. This is a true wide. I love oh, this kid. I get this. This is straight wide out of there. You know, rubbed up the glove just a little bit more to get some new ones. Hey, oh, man, yeah. You got to. I mean, so did you take about an hour and a half to get dressed for the game? Yeah. <laughs> he is I, can't, I can't put on my clothes that fast. Yeah. Oh. I gotta make sure I gotta make sure I peel all this stuff off my thigh pack. Exactly. I, I use like I ain't with none of this stuff. Is that what? No, <laughs> no. I took all the pad off the thigh pad. Cause I don't just like put the metal, Just put the metal pieces in, yep. and I took the small circle on the knee pad, cut around it, and I would put it in just for pregame. Yeah. And then once the game starts, referees they look for that. Take, I take them out. out. Yeah. Pull my socks up. I love this kid. What? Man. Never what I will never wear side pads. Oh no, I never do those. I didn't even want to do those in Little League. <laughs> <laughs> and they used to pop in. <laughs> I ain't never like that. You had to pop in on the side. I had to pop in on the side. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, hey, this is like wide out you. It's wide, wide out of heaven, man. Yeah. We're going to start interviewing wide outs on the, on the regular. <laughs> you some linebackers up there. Nah. <laughs> nah. We don't want to hear no dirty stories. Yeah, hey, man. When we come back, man. We're going to talk a little bit more college football. You know, D'Angelo's here with us, man. So we're going to talk about the games coming up this week. Final four. Let's go. It's the crush. You want to see who's in the network? Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Follow us on Instagram at Sensation Station Network. We're the nation's urban station. Radio, not dumbed down. In 50 feet, turn left. Why are you driving so slowly? After a few drinks, I'm taking it slow. Well, you're not fooling the cop behind you. What? Get ready to pay in point one miles. <sighs> Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Hey, parents. Finding it hard to communicate with kids in today's world of ever-changing slang? Hi, son. Excuse me? Introducing the Communicizer. Just strap non-toxic Communicizer to your mouth and go from boring old man speak. Oh, you know, I'm here if you want to talk. To 100% off the chain. Text me whatever, yo. It's that easy. Thanks to Communicizer, I'm relevant to my kids again. I mean, a fly, boo. And now when you buy Communicizer, you get the auto-tune attachment free. Sounds so hip-hop, your kids will want to talk to you for hours. I used to have to walk three miles uphill to school every morning short day. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Communicizer is not available in stores because it doesn't exist. But that's okay. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Because kids in foster care don't need perfection. They need you. For more information on how you can adopt, go to adoptuskids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Adopt Us Kids and the Ad Council. This is Amar Batman Karen. You listen to The Crush, the only sports radio show that they're going to keep it real in the A on Sensation Station Network. And we're back. Man, we are three. Is it three days? From New Year's Eve? Yeah, three days away. Do my Drake dance. From the college football final four, Oklahoma, Clemson, Michigan State, representing that Big Ten versus Alabama. Who you like in Maceo, Oklahoma, Clemson? Who you like, bro? Man, I'm, I'm going with the boy from Gainesville. I'm going Clemson, though. Clemson looking good, I'm going, man. going Clemson. Baker Mayfield said so they out here getting disrespect. Man, go on somewhere, Baker. Baker. <laughs> That's why your name Baker. Yeah. Just, just well, Baker, Baker swagged up, though. You better go check Baker. Oh, no, he, he that dude. Yeah, he can dance now. He, he do. He, yeah, like, he, he got all of it He got to get his feeling, though. He's yeah, like, yeah, man. He got to stop being so sensitive, man. Yeah. Yeah. You lost to, uh, who was that? That beat you. Uh, Oklahoma lost to Oko State? AK State? No, they beat them. No, they lost to Tennessee. Or, no, no, they can't. That's when they caught the, the stride when they beat Tennessee. Well, they can't Tennessee, Tennessee. still won that game. Yeah, yeah, they should say that. Yeah. Oklahoma, uh, Clemson, I, I like Clemson too. We ain't going to ask you, man, but just talk about that game, what you see from, you know, being in the college game, what you can see from those two teams, Oklahoma and Clemson, man. It's going to – Deshaun going to be the difference in that mm -hmm. game. Yeah. I, I, I I think so. Yeah. I, I think he still got jobs with the Heisman, but that's just me. I – we two of the, if we had votes, we definitely gave it to Deshaun. It was good to Deshaun. His numbers were outstanding, dude. Yeah. It was, it was, and they act like he was just the third place. I, I was a McCaffrey fan. Oh, what? Well, you are? He did everything. He, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. he did. But well, they play so late on TV. Yeah. yeah I think a lot of people, <laughs> that's too late, man. You ready to go to bed by the time yeah, they by kick time off. They kick off, man. You looking like, what? All right, 
bro. Yeah. But he, he did his thing. Uh, next game, Michigan State, Alabama. Yo, your Michigan Big Ten brethren. Big Ten brethren. Who you like, Maceo, coming up? Ooh, man, this is going to be a knockout, drag out game, man. I, I, I don't know how healthy Connor Cook going to be. Right. So right now, I'm going to have to go Alabama. You were thinking after hopefully a few weeks he'll be back. About a month. I mean, I, I don't know if he done fell on his shoulder or something. I don't I don't know. I like Bama too, man, in this one. What are you just about the Big Ten? You talking about the grind. Michigan State, that's part of what they are is that grinding type team. What do you know about Michigan State? Front seven. Yeah. That's what they got. <laughs> but uh, secondary is where Alabama going to have to do their damage. Mm. But other than that, I'm, I'm I'm going with Bama too. But he's going he going against his big team, brother. Yeah, I can't. We lost by three points. I can't. Get <laughs> oh, we feel like we got a penny bit. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> we got some pettiness up in here, hey, man. Hey, that, that, that's again, that's a wide out code. <laughs> we live by that, man. Yeah, hey, man. So I think we're about going until another break. When we come back, we're gonna do the crush recap, and then, man, because we want you to make sure you give your shout outs and everything. So hang with us, bro. Go ahead and take a crush recap, Mace. Man, this day went fast already. Hey, man, this was a great day, man. I think I just saw Brock Osweiler walk off the field, too. Man, bomb, man. Let's get Peyton in the game, man. Big shout out to Brandon Weedy. No, I'm just joking. It's the crush. Leave that guy alone, man. <laughs> You are listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the, it's the crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. Sure. Okay, we're still here with the man Keon Carpenter, man. So Keon, let's talk about it, man. I just feel like when we go out as women, in particular, we are so insecure at some point. Winning is designed to avoid feelings of losing and failure. People who are emotionally weak have to be conscious and have to admit their weaknesses. So There's imagine November your to... son at 1 o'clock in the morning. Where where should he be at at 1 o'clock in the morning? He should be at home at least. In his bed. In his bed at 1 right. o'clock. Or playing a game. <laughs> If you have a prayer request, by all means, you can always um, let us know from time to time. We're here every Saturday on the Taste of Sedition. Sensation Station Network. Radio not down. Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com. That's michaelmcfadden.com, and let Truisms help you to the next level. Hey, we're back. We're going to the Crush Brew Cap brought to you by Blunt Power. With Blunt Power, three sprays last for days. You can find out more about Blunt Power at their website, bluntpower.com, or go to their Facebook page, Blunt Power, or their Twitter page, at Blunt Power, for more information. Look what they show on the TV screen. Boom. Oh, Brandon. Boom. Brandon Wheaton. Buster. So you talked about that, man. How legit was Iowa this year? Uh, the thing with Iowa, you knew what you was going to get. The same defense, couple <laughs> fold, off corners. Yeah, and it's man. like 11 guys doing their job every single time. Yeah, and that's hard right. to beat. That's, that, that's hard to beat. Yeah. If you get that, that's hard that's to hard beat. team to beat, man. That, that's the formula those schools down south who win the state championships all the yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Everybody do their job. That's Dude. crazy. People, you know what they're running, and they know this. They just said this spot every time. We're not doing nothing different. Yeah. 
they know their weaknesses are, and they don't, they don't let you get to them. <laughs> That's weird. You know, and Cole Foley try to hit the wheel out. Yeah, no. Nah. He right there to bat it away. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. You know, you trying to get him to come in and we, yeah, because I ran a little cover for it, but yeah, man, that's nah, we not falling for it. Yeah, we know you're fast enough. We're not falling for it. <laughs> yeah, make sure we had a great show today, man. Hey, man, I'm still in love, man. Jane still in love, man. Over in the gym, just... Her phone number, man. I got a phone number, dog. I don't think people understand it, man. I have her phone number, man. That was just take that, take that. That's just craziness, man. I love my job. Yeah, yeah, man. You just told me, boy. I remember, and it feel like you say you wake up and see that man. Dude, you told me then you gonna interview her. One Dude, day. I would run in front of the TV, and just like I say, man, I still got, man, I still got the Jet magazine, man. Yeah, Ebony, all her magazines. She was in all of them. She was in all of them. Yeah, man, take that, take that. You know, I'm just gonna pause for a second. Hold on. Nah, let's keep going. Now. Hey, we're going back. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Hot topic today. We talked about Peyton Manning going into. He's been with his HGA allegations. Peyton man. ain't on no dope, man. Peyton looked at him, said the slapstick interviewer. Well, ain't no, that's well, he went slap, straight slapstick, but that's man, funny as hell, boy. Man, Peyton got pizza and uh, insurance to sell, man. Peyton, ain't, you know where he from from the <laughs> south? Slapstick was quick out of his man, mouth. Slapstick. Peyton ain't no dope, man. He forty years old, man. Yeah, I'll make Peyton dad again this. They trying to hold off. Don't don't get Arch involved. Eli looked like he was on dope the way he played. <laughs> nah, man. he missed Twinkle Toes, man. I bet Odell was somewhere doing some dance routine. Yeah, he's straight. Ah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I want. Yes. We, 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 we see it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I feel better now. He make wide eyes, man. He make wide eyes a little bad because I, I, I keep getting tagged. And Bert keep tagging me. Talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm wide out there. <laughs> New name is even talking. See how wide out there? We go right to Mason. Wide out, man. I say, man, we divas and stuff, man, but not like that. So, <laughs> how's that feeling, man? Because, you know. Those linebackers don't get it much to catch that fade route in the end zone. How's that feeling to catch those end zones, those touchdowns, man? No, oh, ain't no better feeling. I feel bad for the D-line, the offensive line. <laughs> if I was a D-line, let me score a touchdown. I'm acting a fool. Boy, <laughs> cut up, man. It's glory, man. It's yeah. glory right there on that island, baby. Glory, baby. I think we can we, we get that much glory. Yeah. Right. I, you know, I Our glory it. was a sack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People don't really celebrate those too tough. No, it's like real slap on the head. But good job, Glay. Yeah, back in the yeah get out the field. <laughs> yeah. Get back in the huddle, man. Get out the field. Maceo cuts the touchdown. We all run and slap him on the head. He don't even like that. No. He don't no. like that. No. <laughs> I, got my, I got my hands up, though. My daddy's out. be like, man, would you stop doing that stuff, man? God, you like you ain't never scored no touchdown. I'm like, man, you just don't understand, dog. What? I understand. When I get on campus Monday, boy, woo! <laughs> I digress, though. So yeah. when you got him, so let's say you, you, you doing he that. On, you, you but, he doing, on, but he on TV. Yeah, you doing that route and you open are you all in up up in the in, in the quarterbacks there saying, "Dude, you know I was open." Oh, no. don't let me be wide open. <laughs> you, know? you don't put that move on. You don't put that work in, and he ain't, he ain't looked at you. Boy, that's yeah. the worst. The eyes, just give him the eyes. Uh huh. Look yeah. at him real quick. Be like, hey. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing about it, you can you can you can when you run your route, it's nothing like when when both of y'all eyes connect, and uh-huh. then he look off at the last second. And you like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you, you think if you wide open, go back and look at film. Be like, <laughs> you post her eye. You don't scream it down and talk to you wide open. Be like the safety sitting in line. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody trying to tell you you're doing the game. <laughs> Man, the safety right there. Man, what? <laughs> and y'all in film started. That was wrong. Yeah, that safety sitting right there waiting on me. <laughs> waiting on me. But I still be like, Man, just throw the ball early. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wide out, baby. Biggest game you've had um what, what when you when you look back at your career what game you was like when did you know hey man i can play this game on this level uh, nebraska my freshman year i went for five five catches 146 in the <laughs> <laughs> you were giving them that yeah. work that game worked that game you had a couple of big catches that game yeah yeah mm-hmm. five for 146 mm-hmm. yeah you had a fit the plus or something yeah that was my yeah. first touchdown. Fit uh-huh. the uh about 56 that's the wide out cold. Did baby. you go crazy on that one? No, nah, we were losing, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all got me on that sideline. <laughs> 156 on them. 156 and on them. <laughs> in this social media age, you have a game like that, you get back on campus, you, 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 your inbox, your Twitter. Oh yeah, Twitter yeah. the first thing to blow. Yeah. Yeah, everybody at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I do, they ain't even, the first thing I do after I have a big game, 
I go look for pictures. I don't care. I can care, <laughs> I can care less about Twitter. He is wide out. out. He is a wide out. I go straight to Google images. <laughs> <laughs> Get some pictures. Hey, I go straight to Google images. Hey, you know, there it is, right there. Mm-hmm. Save it. Save it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Boy, I was look. Ooh, I was nice on that picture. Ooh, we uh-huh. killed him on that picture. Oh, he a wide yeah. out. Oh, he is a wide out. Boy. You did against Nebraska too, man, which is a pretty big thing, man. Yeah. Wow, man, that, that makes it. That'd have been you, man. Well, we could have had Google Images or Twitter with you, boy. Boy, I mean, like I say, man, you know, we West Purge out. It'd be like, man. <laughs> we had one camera they, guy. Dude, we, had a, we had a camera dude, and it would be so crazy because why they they be playing yeah. like why? But we, we standing out there by ourselves. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get the best get pictures. The good pictures. Yeah. yeah. We just sitting there like, did you get me? Man, it was six, five. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all all in the trenches, Yeah, we, we couldn't get you. Yeah. Now, now, t- <laughs> see if you're real wide out. You know the cameraman taking pictures, but you act like you ain't looking at it. But oh. you trying to make sure you're on side. I can show you a picture of my phone <laughs> right now. I mean, it was, it was in camp. Are we you at, <laughs> I said, hey, 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 he taking a picture right there. Do it that, that way. No, let me get on that side. I got, I got tattoos on the arm. All the time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yo, what else, boy? God. Hey. Oh, yeah. Me and the cameraman, tight, Tom. <laughs> Tom Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Tony got a shout out and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Between the equipment manager and the wide <laughs> man. man. <laughs> oh boy. Every wide out has done that, man. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all do y'all do have a good picture when y'all talk to the referee? Uh-huh. Listen, man, they got every, <laughs> everybody, every wide I got that pole in the thing about. I would never ask if I was on side. I'd just be pointing. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, man. I'm, I'm I mean I'm looking at his foot. Yeah. So I, I know I'm on side, but you know, because photographer right point. now is getting a little point line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, the secret is out now. Hey, oh, uh, yeah. Our boy, uh, hands on, said, yes, sir. He was a wide yeah, he's out. wide out. He's wide out, too, man. <laughs> that's wide, that's wide out. Hey, wide man. out, stick together, man. Hey, hey, man. Wide out, stick together. Thank you for coming through, man. Any shout-outs you want to give, bro? Uh, Shout-out all the receivers. That's part. That Purdue. That's right. And my boys. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shout out my Instagram, Yancey1224. There and my is. Twitter, Team Yancey. There it is. Team underscore Yancey. There he is. Probably yeah. got some good photos on there. I'm going to check it tonight. I'm going to check it tonight. I'm going to check it so I can laugh tonight. Check the photo. You looking forward to that senior year, man? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Because it's going to be the buzz, man. You know, We're going to give you the crush love, so you good. You yeah, know, yeah, you good, yeah, man. Yeah. We're going to you know, we're gonna have you back this summer before you go back. Yeah, you man. know, you probably, cause would you come home? Come on about a week? Yep, a week. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, so Cause you, gotta, you, summer, you, you gotta get that work. Oh yeah, yeah, gotta get that work. A lot of cones, a lot of uh, agility, you know, a lot of jug machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, cause it's, it's money time now. He said he but. actually, he actually did the whole camera thing. Man. You know, the camera guy and the equipment guy. You've been talking about that for twenty years, right? I, now, I keep trying to tell y'all, man. Yeah. All wide, man. I, I, I tell people all the time. I, folks, I play wide out, then I give them serious equipment. Nah, well, you must, you, you probably play wide up, you play. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, this a baller right here, y'all. Never he he understand it. Thank you for coming on, my brother. Man, no problem, appreciate no it, boy. We're gonna be watching out for you, for real. Crush. I'm, I'm really on it now. Yeah, we definitely gonna be we all up in it. Hey, road trip. Big shout she out, got man. a Purdue shirt on. Yeah, yeah we got here Purdue. So, hey, I went right past it, going to Chicago. You know, it's part oh, of yeah. well, you already know where it is. Yeah, know where it is. Let's do it, man. You're right there. Hey, man. Shout out again. Happy birthday to the f- my father, shout Willie. Out Willie, celebrating that big birthday. Uh, Man, tomorrow's show, Jessica, we're going to keep doing our thing, crushing the NFL. Yeah, man, real shout out to Chris. Chris! Chris came out of the way down for Charlotte, man. He, you know, he going back with an L, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Still 14-1. Good shout yeah. out to yeah. Miss CC, I ain't got never love, Miss CC. Miss CC, I Miss CC, I'm going to be good. Appreciate you looking out for Teddy P. I told you, Miss CC, I'm going to be good because you were real good. You could have easily dogged me for about three days, two weeks ago. But you didn't. So, big yeah. shout out to you. Still 14-1. Still got to, see, the only thing I don't like about that left for them, they still got to play this week. Cause that number one seed ain't sold up yet. Listen, they do not want to go to Arizona. No, sir. For that NFC championship. You got to win it this Sunday. Nobody yeah. do. <laughs> Nobody. Thanks to everybody. Thanks, Scott, for being a trooper today. Appreciate the love. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, people. Chris. Boy, thank you, brother. Bree. <laughs> thank you, Miss. Brianna Ms. Kendall. Bree. Yeah. I don't want to call her whole That's a government. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give a whole name away, but okay. <laughs> we, we, we just going to say it. Thank you, Jane. We can call you Jane. Boy, that was one of the and I got Jane Kennedy phone on the dial. Yeah. I don't think y'all understand. Let me, let me look at it one more time. <laughs>
Thanks again, okay, D'Angelo. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Good. Good. Party, you ready to do this again? How long? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm real good. Yeah. Partner. What up? We'll do this again tomorrow, man. Oh, man, I'll give you some doubt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on right quick. Let's we'll see y'all tomorrow. Stay with us. 22 hours. It's the crush. Let's go. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, bad fun. Peace.